he said, hey, look, he said, hey, look, he said, hey, 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 hey. Nit. What's good, <laughs> Nit? Gers. Chris, why would you say that? Why would you say that, Chris? Gers. I, I don't say that. Gers <laughs> go to lion. Gers go to lion in the forest. Gers. Man, right. we can't. It's not right, even I'll 10 do, seconds. I'll say Nit, and not even you say Gers. <laughs> Nick, <laughs> I say Nick, y'all say Gurr. Nick, ten Gurr. seconds. Nick, <laughs> Welcome to the Snark Tank Podcast. Our time is borrowed. Um, <laughs> welcome, welcome they to the can't show. Stop us, bro. We're too niche. <laughs> We're too. Welcome to the show. We've uh, we've got a lot of questions to catch up on. We missed a week. Because a bunch of bullshit happens at the beginning of January, apparently. That I I personally don't feel like getting into, personally. But we're going to catch up. We got your questions here. We've got a lot of... I I think there's stuff to talk about. I think there's like... We might uh, might jump into some current events if it's it's necessary. But we want to focus on your questions. But first, before we get into it, I want to mention that Derek got really famous over the last couple of days. Yeah. Like shockingly, it was exactly. So you describe you describe this because you're you're the best person to describe this. Well, I don't know. I just well, essentially, I shared things that I normally like doing, but it just really caught on. Uh, even even on Instagram, I'll let, I'll start with this and then I'll work to what I really want to talk about. Uh, you know, we, we've been doing, you guys know, extra ammo people and whatnot, and we've actually posted on the YouTube channel itself of Snark Tank some of the gay covers we've done. And it's just like, it's it's like hobby shit. I just think it's fun, right? It, it, it's stupid. And uh, I just did one really fast, one with Metallica, the Inter Sandman, and that shit is probably has like 10 million views on Instagram. It just went... It's to the point where, like, the entire metal community, people that I've looked up to you were all, like, just... And I was like, oh, I, I didn't... It, it's always when you're not expecting it, right? When you're just releasing something really fast. And then the same thing happened on, on Twitter where... So, on Instagram, I saw a handful of mods on Mortal Kombat 1. Now, I didn't even think about... Because the modding community doesn't really touch Mortal Kombat. But apparently, yeah. uh, their engine is much easier to operate. I think they might be using Unreal 5. And so mm. Unreal and re-engine, all that stuff like that is very easy to manipulate. So I was shocked. I didn't know because all the other Mortal Kombat's, nobody really did anything. So I immediately just slapped them on. And of course, the first thing, <laughs> first thing I have to do is you slap on boners on some people. You, you make them naked and then they just have the ridiculous hardest boners. Then I, I did a Wolverine as Baraka. Baraka as Wolverine, which makes sense. Posted a little clip, and I knew it was pretty deceptive because Wolverine's <laughs> fucking up Omni Man, right? So you don't notice right away. <laughs> and really... then the Hulk jumps in, and you really notice that Omni Man has the hardest penis. What I, like, so... <laughs> what I like about it is that they're not unrealistic proportions of penises either. Like, well, maybe for him. Walk, <laughs> someone can be walking around with that much heat, you know. Like he, he got like he got like a good like niner on him, you know. Yeah, like, Omni Man, I, I believe him. He got some heat on him, you know. Like Debbie, Debbie's a bad bitch, you know. He probably got some, <laughs> he probably got some length on him. But the funniest thing is when Hulk starts beating him, his hard cock is up against Hulk's ass. It's just, it's just it's like laying on, on his stomach, dude. And it's just like this just <laughs> is crazy how it is, I love he is. I do love how <laughs> deceptive it is. Like it it really like if you're if you if you just scroll past it, you there's a good chance you might not notice what the fuck is going yeah. on? Because I didn't notice. I was like, "Why does this dude have so many?" I was like, "Why? Why? It's just Wolver. It's just a Wolverine mod." I, I had to yeah, watch I it. Like, guy. S- I had to watch it like four times before I like even four saw times? it because of the Twitter compression as well. That's I what I was hoping for. I was like, hoping he- that you wouldn't. Th- that's why you know I didn't allude to anything. I, I was hoping that it, it, people would notice it. Probably the second watch or something. Uh, yeah. And there were people that I even saw some quote tweets that were the same. They were being like, 
Like, l- like it's not un- this is unimpressive because they didn't get it. They were like, you could do this shit in Mugen like years years ago. And I'm like, nigga, look yeah. closer, <laughs> look closer, dude. Look, clo- look harder. <laughs> look way harder. Look, and dude, it's one of my <laughs> one of my favorite creators, Mighty Keith. Somebody that I really enjoy on YouTube. <laughs> what the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? What the- <laughs> I knew it was gonna happen. I was just like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let it because I didn't, I didn't reset it. So, sorry, God I should have, I should have gave you guys a warning. I, I just need to adjust my volume. <laughs> that, Derek's camera has a mind of its own, and it's really upsetting. Derek, that was a Junji Ito moment. I'm like, you move your face, and then there's like another Derek to the side, just chilling next to you. That's some yeah. like grudge. <laughs> now I fixed it. Now I just my my volume's a little high. I'm just trying to fix it. <laughs> what were you gonna say, Kingston? So one of my favorite creators, Mighty Key, somebody I watch on, I'm watching for years on YouTube. It's so funny because he commented just like, "Yo, why is a meat out?" Like that's all he commented. <laughs> why is meat out? And Derek's response was so simple. It was so like just jovially simple. It was just like, "You don't have your dick out sometimes," and I'm just like, "What?" what kind I mean, of just. <laughs> Sometimes I mean, some, sometimes people just get really excited. It, like you know, some people like playing video games. Some people really like fighting, and so I feel like an Omni Man was a perfect representation of that. Like he really fucking enjoys Fuck, fighting, so dude. he can be getting sliced up by Wolverine and maintain his boner. And uh, I, and that's the thing that people don't. There's there's a handful of people that don't understand. And I've also learned th- this is like a, almost like a good social experiment. Of people that are homophobic in a way that like penises make them uncomfortable, where you know to me a dick it's just, it's just a dick, man. First of all, it's a video game dick. But even if yeah. you saw like a real hard penis in real life, I'd be like, I would be more like, whoa, surprised, but not like weirded out and scratching my head and like what the fuck's going on. But there was a handful of people no, that would... had this reaction of being like, um, they don't understand it. They think it's like a uh, immediately. And I feel like it might be one of those things where it's a little bit of projection where they can't, they're not coming to grips with the fact that they like penises, but they don't want to. So when they see it, they don't see it as comedy. They see it as something that is like hot or lustful. So they don't understand the scenario where they're confused. Oh, man. Where I'm yeah. like, the comedy comes from how hard he is. But that's the whole point. Being that's the fucking funny, completely like, rock hard in a hard situation. Like that while you're fighting. Exactly. You don't get hard like that when you fight. Well, in Not any like scenario, that. like the <laughs> since the RE since the RE engine was so easy to manipulate, always putting like hard dicks on all the characters because they're in the most dangerous and scary situations which is completely antithetic to being turned yeah, on yeah it's it's not so, it, yeah <laughs> I, I just i love i my favorite thing about this so this tweet this tweet has 8.8 8. 8 million views it's also got four five thousand bookmarks the amount of bookmarks <laughs> is insane the bookmarks, <laughs> the bookmarks to me it's not even though it's not the likes it's not the retweets it's the bookmarks that kill me because it's, it's like dude so why don't you do why <laughs> Why don't you just people, like it? This is a tre- this is a treasure. This is one of those things you see where you got. I gotta hold on to this. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's like, you know the Goku video, that Goku video that you, you put in the chat, Chris. Oh, that shit. That's a video great. you gotta hold on to. That's a video you gotta download to your the phone. Goku they're video? gonna get rid of it. And you have the Goku video. That's all I can say about it. That's oh, as far it, as I can uh, say. Then the, the story, <laughs> that's right? As far as I can say. Is it the one where he's shouting is- the slurs? Yes, you yeah, gotta yeah, hold yeah. on to that video. That's a, that's a I saw a video on I, I saw a video on Twitter of Goku like he, I don't even remember where I saw it. I think it was I think it was Twitter where he was like maybe maybe I'll be or, or, or maybe I'll kill you. Yeah, and and like <laughs> fucking I I wish I could find it. I don't know where the hell it went, but it, it brings me joy to see just random random shit like this explode. In this way, right. it reminds me a lot of the the resin grandma thing that I made a couple months ago, where I was just somebody like, why commented the fuck? about that. Yeah, someone and was, I was like, like, "This is your version of this." <laughs> <laughs> I love that it's just <laughs> he's so hard; it's unreal. It's so it's scary. So, it's so mm. ridiculous. How uh, um and then so so I saw um Garrus the the black timekeeper character. Mm-hmm. I saw yeah. somebody using him before like mods were on it, and what they were doing. They would time freeze you while you were bent over, and then he has this move where he like <laughs> hit, he humps you with his chest. Essentially, he bumps he's you. Thrust forward, but, but he looks like he's thrusting his cock. So I've seen people doing that on Instagram. 
So immediately, my first thought was to, okay, obviously, I'm going to mod Garrus and then do that. And I, so here's the thing to make it because some people probably would have had a problem with it because first I was going to do it to Omni Man since he's already naked. And I was like, but that's too easy. And then I was going to do it to one of the uh, girls because I have them nude in, in MK1. But then I'm like, that's too. I feel like people would probably would have a problem with that. That's so respectful. Mario. Mario is like it's so stupid to take Super Mario and have him getting violated and it worked because it it, it took off two other people started stealing it and shit and um the gay porn community found it the, oh. the uh, dude there's like a handful of gay porn uh, uh what do you call them porn stars that are following me now because I because I shared that and That's there was so a guy funny. that got tagged that looks like Garrus. The dude tagged him and he's like, you've been immortalized. And I clicked on his page and it's this bald, tall dude that looks like Garrus. But then if you scroll down a little bit, he's like piping other black dudes. And I'm like, oh, okay, I got to get off here. <laughs> I got to get off his page. I'm going I'm to I'm end, up, I'm end up going down a rabbit hole and I can't explain. I can't explain Br this. I can't explain people going back from this and there being <laughs> dozens of pages of it where you go back from. Those are the moments that you can't, like, you can't, because, like, you know, everyone everyone has mistakenly slept down the gay porn hole once or twice. You click one thing, what? you end up someplace you're not supposed to be. You're like, whoa, these women have really big dicks. <laughs> and, then you, and then you go back. <laughs> but you stop. You, you, at that moment, you go back. And you're like, all right, cool. I'm Bro, here. I've I'm seen... a little scared. I'm going to go back. You I've seen the clicking. most gay porn I have ever seen in my entire life in the past day or two because of this. That's like crazy, like it was bro. it was so many cuz they were you they have have big <laughs> followers so you would get uh you would get notifications I would get, I get banned for notifications when large uh pe people have large audiences when they when they re interact with your page they repost yeah. or follow or whatever so then when I click on their profile and it was dozens of gay dudes piping other dudes and I'm like I have seen a lot of gay porn because of this so then at a certain point I was just like I'm just going to let it die down because clearly it's going through its communities. Um, like it went through the gaming community, it went through uh, the Mortal Kombat community, now the gay community. So it's it uh, it made its rounds. It was pretty fun. And uh, you just some of the quote your tweets, meal, you know, enjoy your bro, game. Some meal. of the quote tweets got bigger. Like uh, there's that what is that uh, Diary of a Wimpy Kid meme? Uh, that GIF. There's that yeah. chubby kid that, that he's kid waving like and then he looks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That oh, thing, yeah. <laughs> what, it had like a hundred thousand likes. A uh, one of one guy, one guy that did that. And I'm like, dude, it's it was bigger than the post itself. I, yeah, I've never seen anything like it. That always, yeah. Vids go hard, stole it. Uh, or vids that go hard stole it. Well, it's yeah, just, it's, it's one of the, it's one of those. When you make something this big, you, it's just, you know, yeah. It's, I know it, it's gonna it's get just, ripped for sure, but like, yeah. it's one of the things where. This the vids I go hard guy. I know that he saw exactly where it came from. It's not like yeah. he, it went down a pipeline. Like say I right, I yeah. shared things that of I don't know where it came from because it's who knows where it started. No, I steal shit regularly. Wrong go for right, one hundred percent. That's the whole thing. Where I the just, I, I okay, man, I have no problem with you re like say this. Is the reason why I don't really do what do you call it a uh, uh, watermark because I don't really care. But when it's just right, blatant, yeah. that that's the only time it annoys me. Where I'm like, bro, like I'm right here. You could have just quote tweeted me. Like I'm yeah. right here. <laughs> Whatever. It is, yeah, it is. Oh. It is pretty silly, but yeah, it was fun though. I'm glad that so many people got to experience why I do this shit in the first place. Like why? Because like I said in the beginning, I feel like there's people that didn't understand the humor in it. Like they just think it's like some gay shit. And I'm like, no. Rest assured, the women have giant tits and are naked too. Like this is this <laughs> is like assured. a whole. Yeah, I'm like, this is not just like, oh, I'm showing the boners more often because it's funnier than just naked chicks. Because yeah. I feel like there's too many people that do do the naked chicks for, like, hot reasons. Like, they think this is yeah, hot. You would just, uh, yeah, it's not funny. You would just jerk off to it. Yeah, yeah. like, and me, I'm like, yeah, they do off, look good. Don't get me wrong. Chun-Li in Street Fighter Six looks fucking awesome. Um, Jiri looks fucking awesome. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You just but. enjoy it. You don't jerk off. You don't jerk off. You don't destroy. There's a level. There's a level of sanctity you don't go beyond. You don't jerk off to that. You just enjoy it. Yeah, I, like, exactly. Oh, I enjoy it. It's, it's funny. It's funny at the same time because situational. Like, uh, I played the open world thing, and then you first run, I'm running into Chun-Li, and it's, like, funny because it's, you know, it's awkward. She's, like, just naked as shit, and everybody's just casually not paying attention to her giant ass and stuff and her massive thighs. 
Like as if like it just makes it funny. <laughs> but then, have you seen? Have you then seen? you get to appreciate it? Go like, nice. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen? Whatever. You know how? Do you know Horizon? Like uh, Horizon Forbidden West, uh, and and yeah. like Horizon um, Zero. Have you seen the mod where it's like? Because in the beginning of Horizon, the the first one, you play as child Aloy. Like it's like a it's like a kid version of the protagonist. Oh, she's a kid. But like, yeah, in the begin in, in like the first level, like the oh, tutorial oh, level, gotcha. she's like a child. <laughs> but like, there's okay. a mod that that sticks the child model onto the adult model, so like her neck is like giraffed out, <laughs> and her her l- arms and legs are fucking real thin and long. It is one of the funniest <laughs> fucking things I've ever seen. That's the shit that I like. Oh, that is that's the shit that b- kills me when I see it. But no, I love. <sighs> I, I, such a fan bro let's speaking of this i'm actually i'm glad that we we started off with this because did you hear i'm of course you must have heard about this chris uh catcom fucking putting in drm in their old games because because of uh so this the theory is well it's not even a theory the capcom representatives come out and said that like mods even like uh uh just world mods uh fov mods everything it's all cheating all blanketed, it's all cheating, you're ruining the game. And people are theorizing, though, the reason why this happened and why they're retroactively trying to swat away some mods of their games, which they fucked up, some of them, like, for example, uh, uh, Resident Evil Revelations, they fucked it up and had to immediately reverse the patch of the DRM because it broke the game. But, like, that game's mm-hmm. fucking over, like, 10 years old, and they're trying to go on the old things and stop people from modding shit, specifically because that one fucking guy... That was uh, streaming a tournament on Street Fighter Six. Forgot that to dude, turn off fault, the Chun Li yeah. mod, and because of that oh. dumb motherfucker, he was in. He was in a world championship. Like, yeah, thousands of people. What saw was the Chun Li mod that he had? Well, the new uh, mod. I'll send it to the you. The one that literally on. I can send it to you right now. <laughs> I'll send it. I have the mod. I have that shit on my PC. I'm, I have. Thank, uh, dude. I took a selfie <laughs> with my avatar with new Chun Li. <laughs> She's all. Dude, I have. I, <laughs> I looked Chun-Li for new, new Chun Li mod. mods in Fortnite, bro. I've I've been down bad. I've been down bad. I've definitely oh, entered wow. the game more than so once. Funny. I tell you what, that would have this got is a me tournament. To play, this happened. Yes, uh, that happened in a big tournament, dude. Like this fuck. But my, th- how do you forget though? That doesn't even make sense to me. No, what I think, what I think happens is this, right? What happens is on his screen you see that on the other screen you don't. I don't think, I think what happens is he didn't know that it was going to stream his screen. That doesn't make so any sense. So like, his screen of it? Because what happens usually in mods, if you play mods online, right? I'll see regular Chun. Yeah, it's just You'll you. You'll see no. naked Chun-Li. That's, no, that's, no, that's actually not true. That is 100% that is, true. That's how online mods tend Fighter to work. Six. Yeah. Because they don't have, because. My friend. He doesn't have new Chun. I have new Chun. Yeah. Well, it also it, that's no, been the you, way it, you would you, the characters that you because for example, the the it's just like how hacking works. It 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 is interfering with the PvP. So the no, code that it, you put on your character, no, it it's that that that's the whole. What I, what it, I what I'm saying what I'm saying is like there are some there are some games where I don't know if that's a choice on the developer's part because there are there like in uh, uh what is it Left 4 Dead. I remember specifically, like, there are mods in Left 4 Dead mm-hmm. where you can have, like, a, your entire team is, like, Velociraptors and shit. But, like, those mods only appear for you. Like, if somebody else joins your game, they'll just see normal Left 4 Dead. Like, anybody can have their own those mods. Are the ones, like, those are the ones I particularly have downloaded. Because my friend doesn't yeah. see new Chun. I was like, hey, I don't dude, know. do you see this? He was like, no, I didn't see Chun Li on my screen. Yeah, I don't for know me, what that is, though. For me, for me, what's his name's dick is as big as his fist. So um, it's probably, it's his just name. probably just a... <laughs> It's just, it a might be it's just a difference in code. It's just a difference in code. Yeah, Luke, yeah. It, it might be the difference. Looks like his fist. Just keep going. <laughs> like for insane. example, for example, Red Dead Redemption, um, dude, yeah. his fu- Luke's fucking forearms are Popeyes. Disgusting. I don't even know what the hell That's going on with that. His cock is bigger than that. It, <laughs> so <laughs> much bigger than that. <laughs> so here's the thing. Uh, like Red Dead Redemption, I was so excited to see on TikTok that cars have been modded into the game. I was so excited, but it turns out. <laughs> It is only a specific server online. There's an uh, online yeah, community online. in the server, and they're fucking around with it. And so it's they don't have the coding available for the uh, single player, and that pissed me off because that's all I cared about. I don't I don't play online, so um, it's it's just a different encoding. And so the code that he has it, it translates to the PvP to the multiplayer, um, which um, 
mine uh, the ones that I have on Mortal Kombat uh, would as well, which uh, I, I I can't wait. I, I told my friend, I was like, dude, we got to play MK1 again. And so I, I and he doesn't know about all the shit that I slapped on. So I'm, I'm like excited to surprise him with like the hardest dude, dicks. That guy really <laughs> fucked up everything for Capcom. But did he, he really, he really re- fucked everything? Totally. And I understand it happens, you know, because you like, you know, if especially if you're a professional, if you're a pro player, you got to be you got to be more careful. So that's a that's a foul on this part. That's just He's stupid. I'm player. like, take He's your a, shit you off. Gotta, you got to you got to carry your shit. That's, that's your money. It's that's the your thing bag. that pisses me off. It's out. through it's through most of those mods like that, like Resident Evil or Street Fighter or anything. It's through Fluffy. You have to do fluffy is the easiest thing to control. Literally press one button to slap all your mods off or on. Like that's why it's so like reckless to even like just o- literally open up your fluffy mod and then just be like take them all off and they're off. So that that's why it feels almost like how did you for how did you it's just not do that? He's probably rushing to get to the tournament. A bunch of dumb shit probably. There's just no up, excuse. There's just no needs, good excuse. It almost feels your, like it was on fucking purpose bases. to me. I not almost feel like it was your, on purpose. Not on what makes for your money, you know. Like you don't watch porn on your work computer, you know. Yeah, you should. Like you like there is there's way you gotta there's certain things you gotta but you gotta you gotta clean up your act a little better. You gotta you gotta watch your stat. That's why it's so. That's why it just feels so. It's so irresponsible. It uh, almost felt purposeful to me. Like it, 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 and you'd ask the question, why would you do that on purpose? But a lot of people do a lot of crazy shit. Cause it's just it's just, just so just easy stupid. to avoid. People are just dumb. People don't make like what was that fucking don't think um, before they act. That's just what, what it was is. that retard. Uh, what was that guy's name? Um, uh, Dream <laughs> was it Dream that got cheated in Minecraft that got caught cheating doing obvious stuff? Like his RNG was so good it was impossible. I'm pretty sure it was Dream. It's what makes that even funnier is that the the thing about the Dream one is that like he he kept bragging about it. That's what made it worse for him. He's like he fucking did whatever he did was stupid. I was like that's dumb. Yeah, and then he kept like, "Well, I did this in Minecraft," and it's like, "Bro, shut up, shut up." It's You're weird when it's like to the fact you cheated. Stop. It's so easy. It's like it's so obvious that you cheat. That's the weird thing too, where it's like people do these things where it's so obvious. Like nobody has that type of luck. It is impossible. You were the luckiest person in the universe, not even the fucking galaxy. It's not even and, impossible, and, but like if you're gonna cheat, right? You're gonna, people are gonna try to make you recreate it, right? No, and there, if you there are certain odds close that to are that, impossible. Fucking, you look, you look stupid. You look like, oh, you got it this one time. It's like, oh yeah, I beat this game, and uh, you look, you look at someone's file of Pokemon. I beat it in like two hours. It's like, ah, oh, really? Do that again. Do something close to that again. <laughs> yeah, and it's like, uh, yeah, it's just what like the if you want to say if right. you want to be technical, sure, and probably yeah, blah 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 blah. But yeah, it, it's wild that Capcom did that stuff. Now apparently. It's not on as many games as some people were saying. Like, I actually just tested on Ultimate Marvel, uh, Ultimate Marvel Three, uh, because some people said it was fucked up with that too. But I didn't see any issues with it. But uh, definitely some Resident Evil ones and just old fucking games. That, yeah, <laughs> like, why it's do weird. they even care? Very strange. I don't know. That is funny that a nude mod completely ruined everything, though. Uh, in, really, a, in a tournament. They- <laughs> That's crazy. She fucking was wild. Fuck, she was naked as shit. Uh, it's so yeah. wild. She but yeah, I don't know. The mods naked. look good though, man. There's some the good uh Zangief fucking the uh what's who's the uh, who's the that that uh what what is she? Uh um the the Italian chick? Uh what's her Marissa name again? The big the big one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They they fuck there's Dream mods. True, bro. There's mods to fucking uh the the because I guess some people thought her tits were too small because she you know she's all muscle mommy, <laughs> so like, yeah, and her giant tits and like bro, uh, they fixed shit. her hair because her hair looks like Magneto, <laughs> looks like Magneto's oh, helmet. Bro, the the Marissa yeah. mods, bro, the dreams come yeah. true, man. The... Yeah, she definitely she can she can. I want to see her versus uh Lady uh, Dimitrescu or something or Madam whatever the fuck her name is. I don't got enough gas in the tank for that. I think I I think I <laughs> I think I'd perish before I'd be able to finish watching that. I think I'd be like. My hands are just, you know, my hands just corroded on themselves. I think <laughs> my hands just fall apart. I don't Did you guys see? Hour, uh, man. man, I feel like. Have you seen this fucking Pal World thing? Yeah. Have you seen this at all? I it's just found silly. out about it two days ago. All right. Two well, days so you know ago, we'll I save literally... it. We'll save it for the next episode then. Okay. Because I'm sure a lot sure more will happen in the, now, in the time it's hot being. Now. It's gonna be. It's this is not going away for any time for a while. 
Like oh, and no. definitely by the by the time we record next time, dude. Like, well, like it, it'll still there's probably going to be more of it. For those of you who don't know, I just want to ask. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> Pal World is this? I, I mentioned it on the podcast a long like a while ago. It's like this game that's like Pokemon. It's like it Pokemon with guns. Yeah, because it just uh, it didn't. I I don't know it. it it was just this random trailer that was shown at some like showcase or something. It was Pokemon for most of the trailer, like some Pokemon type game. And then there's just this shot. There's just a shot of all these Pokemon on an assembly line in a factory making weapons, making like assault rifles. And I'm like, <laughs> okay, I guess I guess this is real. But it came out, I think, like what two days ago at the time of recording this, a day ago, something like that. And uh, it's it's the biggest game in the world right now, basically. Uh, like yeah, straight up. I don't understand. How did it get so? I have not seen. And you, you even said yourself that you mentioned it. I literally have zero memory of this. Yeah. I don't understand how big it got without anybody in my circles online anywhere hyping it up. Yeah, I, was like, it, I mean, so no big. one was. No one was. That's the thing. It's like no one was talking about it really. Like, the, like it, it was a trailer in like some showcase that everybody was like, "What the fuck is that? Like, what the fuck is this?" <laughs> Why are there like electabuzzes manufacturing AK forty sevens in a fucking <laughs> in a fucking warehouse in Dubai? What the fuck is going on? What is this? Uh, and it was just kind of like a funny. It was just like a funny thing. Like everybody was just like, oh, weird. I don't know. But I don't think there was anybody who was like excited for it. You know what I mean? It wasn't like hype. It was more like, what the fuck is that? And then I think it just dropped. I think it came out on Game Pass. So like a bunch of people were able to play it without actually like buying it i think that's what really helped a mm. lot but i think what what it, what it really is it's like oh people are hungry for pokemon outside of nintendo yeah. and yeah. so uh, uh, mm-hmm. now that there's the some pokemon kind of option even though it's more mid, like bro. no your turn i'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> and so even though it's like for more a like you timed out for me that's my mistake Oh yeah, I'm just that's, I'm just fucking around. It's literally every time you time out, like you timed out for one moment, and I said <laughs> something, and then you spoke <laughs> right when I spoke. I'm just fucking around. I just thought it would be funny to say the the, uh, but even so, even though it's there's like this this Pokemon aesthetic, and even though it's more like Rust or like Arc Survival Evolved, and like all these other things, there's like a Pokemon element to it where people are like, yes, I'm hungry for this on consoles that aren't fucking you know, based on 2014 hardware. <laughs> so it's exploding. Mm. But the thing that I don't know, it's like there's there's accusations of AI art theft. There's accusations of straight up plagiarism from Pokemon. There's, there's I, I don't know. I don't know yet. It's, it's I, kind of a mess out there right now. I don't know whether or not it's like ethically okay to play this even or if it's uh, just a, 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 th- a, a completely stolen piece of shit made by like 12 people in a basement with AI. You know, like I have no idea. I really don't know. It's too early. It's, it's too chaotic, a little bit but like it's, that, it's wild. Uh, what is it? It's looking a little bit like that uh, War God Zeus of Child, but just enhanced. Like it, <laughs> it looks like one of those things where when I, when I first looked at the uh the it was it was the the company whoever did it i saw them on twitter posting that they had like over like 4 million units or something like that sold and when i saw the the thumbnail of that i immediately was like cuz i didn't keep up with pokemon I, i'm i'm on the i'm the 151 and then i fell off yeah me too so when me, i saw exactly. that i was just like hey it, it is is this like are these I, I thought it was actually affiliated with pokemon because it they just look literally like pokemon and i'm thinking there's no way you can get away with this can you yeah dude there's one that's straight up straight up in electabuzz just straight up from what i remember what i liked about it's wild uh like how do you get away with that shit like it seems way too like it's too similar it's not even to the point it's like uh what was it uh what was that remember when uh blurred lines and then marvin gay remember that shit oh yeah, yeah yeah like uh yeah, like there's a lot of examples of that, but that was one of those things where they tried to argue, but it's so obvious that it was that fucking lifted. And I see this, and that was my first thought that like, there's no way this isn't going to end in a lawsuit, is it? Like, it's this is insane. I, I mean, maybe they cleared it. Yeah, maybe. I, I heard that they got sued a couple <laughs> times, but it didn't take. So like, I don't, uh. I don't know what the fuck is going on with this thing. I'm curious yeah. about it. <laughs> I kind of want to stream then, like, it just because it's so big and, and just so weird. But like, I thought about buying it. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I saw. Yeah. 
motherfucker with an axe beating the fuck out of some flying stingray things, and I felt so bad. <laughs> like just I saw fucking up some animals. The, the thing, the like, thing that almost, dude. the thing that, the thing that almost sold it to me was this guy was like, uh, in Power World, you can just go up and punch the Pokemon, and it was just some guy walking up to like a sheep Pokemon, and just. <laughs> just beaten <laughs> down on it until it went unconscious. I was like, "This is kind of, I don't know. This I'm is kind of a little unethical. I'm, I, I'm kind of, I'm kind of into. I wonder how Peta feels about this fucking game. Ooh, but you, do. it's just, it's just some. Oh, more, I want to go on their more, Twitter. Some more Pokemon kind of game made, bro. Yeah, That's I mean, I don't know. It sold a lot it, of copies it, though, and and I, it sold and I feel a lot, like of, a lot copies, of the hate shit. A lot of the fucking shit is coming from Nintendo themselves. They're like, hey, make a fake account. Tweet AI did this. <laughs> or thing, like, well, anything they can to make it seem worse. Well, the thing that I don't... I don't know. Because I've seen a lot of conversation online where it's like, well, if you're a real Pokemon fan, you'd want Power World to succeed because Nintendo's getting too comfortable making getting. garbage. So they need to be put... They mm. need to be, it's like, first of all, that you don't, that is the fucking stupidest opinion i've ever fucking heard in my life you think ai thefted or just straight up normal thefted shovelware being really successful is going to teach nintendo a lesson are you out of your fucking mind unfortunately not that is literally the opposite lesson lesson that you would want them to learn it's literally the opposite you don't want them to be like oh look they could just do they could just steal and do nothing and make a lot of money let's why would we why would we put effort into this that's the, you, if someone, you think they're going to learn a good lesson from this, you're f- fucking just really, really naive. And I, I, I appreciate you. I, I like that you're frolicking around in a field of dandelions <laughs> while the rest of the world is burning around you. But you need to fucking get inside and stop playing simple jack. Okay. So what happens <laughs> is this, right? Jack. Nintendo, Nintendo. Is there, good. there's no like. I, I went from someone that had a play a, a, a switch. To a, I have an OLED, right? I got an OLED uh, Steam Deck. Uh-huh. The Nintendo's console is laughable. That console's fucking. Of course ter- it that is. That is a terrible console. It's of from 2017. It is. The Switch is even so. Even so, dude. Bro, you know what I just saw? Even you know so. what I just saw? It's a handheld you, from 2017. You know what I just saw? Dude, I, feel I feel like that's like, still not like an the, excuse. I feel like the Vita was. was, was There's fucking, an iPhone stronger than the Switch, it, I'm pretty it, sure. No, it wasn't. You're I'm pretty sure there are phones stronger than the Look, Switch. I'm not misremembering, like but for its yeah, time, it day. was up to speed. Maybe and then. Like, and and this then. shit is so far behind that, like, if you try to... Bro, I saw Arkham City on on Arkham City, a 20... I think 2015 game? Maybe 2016? Maybe? Yeah. I saw it running on Switch, and it looked like absolute fucking ass. Oh, and dude, I'm like, it's shit, just, yeah. And it's like, bro, it's... Why, why do people let... It, like they just people just let Nintendo disrespect them so much because I saw people running defense for this shit, and I'm like, okay, and then and then Switch Two is gonna come out, and it's still gonna be shit because you guys keep buying this shit. 100%. Stop buying this shit. Two million percent, hundred percent. I I play. Well, I'm playing. Yeah. I am playing Resident Evil Three on max settings on the fucking OLED Switch. The um, Steam Deck right now, and it's running at ninety frames. And there's a no second. reason Nintendo Perfectly can't do the same fine. fucking thing. They just don't care. I mean, obviously, the switch is the switch is smaller, right? But they it's just like it's but more the point portable. Is they can do it, though. and <laughs> and like if Nintendo wanted to, they could like really stuff they, fucking portables and metal drop, it, but knock people sucking socks off. If they wanted to. well, the, they, they I, could, I think they the issue to. that they've the, the, the issue that Nintendo the issue that Nintendo runs to do is like a they don't have to, b right. it kind of doesn't matter because you have like I mean you have you do have like. Um, I don't know. You have the Xbox Series S, X, and you have like the PlayStation Five, and they're like the strongest consoles on the market. You know, like they they do all this crazy shit. But I mean, arguably, there's really not there's not a game as good as you know Tears of the Kingdom on either of them. Really, you know, like that's kind of that's kind of where they're they're at. Where it's like we're just gonna make really good software that's like impeded by the technology, but it's still the software is still so good that you're gonna you're gonna buy it anyway. And also because this hardware wait, 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 is, wait, is sorry, sorry, and, and also because the hardware because the hardware is uh, <coughs> gimped in some way, it means it won't be as expensive as the other one. So it'll be it, it will always be like the cheapest and most affordable but option the games for people are who just, just want as expensive. Software. The games like are just fucking- as expensive, but they're also like 
generally better. Like they had two game of the year nominations last year. You know, yeah, in a the, year, the, in the, a stack they, they year. Had one. It's, but here's they the thing: they have, uh, they have another one. They had one, wasn't it? Uh, oh, Mario out. RPG came out too late. No, but I get it. Look, I get what I'm 100 percent understand what you're saying from from a business perspective. It's just one of those things that <coughs> if you know, if if the if the you know, I know this would never happen. This is all utopia speak. But if gamers rose up, <laughs> if they stuck gamers together and were like, <laughs> and they were like, we're not gonna buy this till you just you just keep up with the current market as far as the standards of uh of uh graphics and FPS and all that shit. Uh, because per- personally, me, uh, like say I- I'm watching JoJo play the the first one on our TV. I might have mentioned this before, but since it's on a 4K TV, it looks like absolute fucking diarrhea. And I'm like, I I just fuck this. <clears throat> I'm, I'm like fuck looking at this. You know, you can get used to it and shit, but it's just one of those things where it just feels like a fucking disgrace. Where I would have 100, percent I would have dove onto and jumped onto the Nintendo bandwagon if they actually respected me and and their base yeah. right like you know but i i'm i'm the odd person out right because it, people are going to buy it anyway so i, I get yeah. it yeah i mean the, their bases care about different things yeah, you know like i care about i care you're about performance stupid. you're dumb in fact i care about performance i care about good hardware <laughs> but most person. of fucking crazy <laughs> I most don't, of that audience i just i wish doesn't by yeah, the way, I wanted to correct. I, I wanted to correct. Uh, I wanted to correct the record. They, they did have two uh-huh. Game of the Year nominations last year. I was totally right. Uh, it was. Uh, Which did they have? It was Tears of the Kingdom and Mario Wonder were both uh, nominated for Game of the Year. Wonder. Uh, Are you sure? <laughs> I don't think Wonder was up there. I think it was. I think Wonder got something. But Tears no, of the literally, Kingdom was up I'm for looking. Game I'm literally looking at it. I'm literally looking you at looked it. Looked it up. <laughs> I'm literally looking at the website. Uh, it is. It was. Uh, it was Alan Wake Two, Legend of Zelda, Resident Evil Four remake, Mario Brothers Wonder, Baldur's Gate Three, and Spider Man Two. Mm. Yeah. I guess it was the the early ranking of Game of the Year because at the at the ending of it, it was only four games, and mm. Wonder was not there. Kingston. N- <sighs> okay. Well, when they when they did the they were like, oh, the God four bless games. You. They gave four things at that. If I'm not mistaken, during the Game Awards, Kingston, were, like, I'm, four games were there. If Kingston, I'm not mistaken, there's always six games. There's always, there's always six games for the category. I'm looking at the okay, website yes. literally right now where it says Game of the Year nominations, voting closed, oh, winner Baldur's right. Gate 3, and it's Mario Wonder and fucking Tears of the Kingdom. Yeah. I knew that sounded That's wrong. Wonder, like, is, a- Wonder is frighteningly mid. No disrespect to that game. It's fun. That game is... I've played that game a, literally a thousand times. That's not still true. fun, but There's, it's like... Dude, no way you've played it a thousand is, times. You've, you've, had not, you've, you've not had time to play it a thousand like times. Dude, Mario Brothers, Wii U, Super Luigi Brothers, Mario, New Super Mario Bros. Bro, I can I can name off like genuinely seven of that game. That Wait, game has been understand. repeated so many times. It's oh, you're talking about that, like oh, they're okay, all the right, same. Right. I see, I see what you're saying. I thought you said you played Mario that Wonder a thousand is... times. I'm like, no, you didn't. No, uh, <laughs> no, not that exact game. I played that kind of game so many times. It's like, did you pl- did you did yeah. you play the new one though? I've played and finished it. It's a fun game. It was just like this yeah. is a kid's. This is nothing different from what it was before. Well, I mean, that's kind of the point. You're like a oh, wonder <laughs> sphere. And it's that's like, kind of the point of Mario. Just, it's it's geared towards uh, E for everyone. So you know, I feel like I don't I think feel e like for everyone uh, means it needs what, to be a what, very was it War God's game. use of child should have been nominated for Game of the Year. I think that that would have been that would have. been War gods child. I, I, I honestly think that there should be a culture. Look, I don't know. I don't know how well this would go. How the, how well this would this would go with a with a general audience. But I feel like there should always be another one slot for game of the year that is just completely, just like people who really don't deserve it. So they can spend time around people who are actually see- like they have to go to the award show surrounded by all of these people who are so clearly above them, and they they know they're not going to win, but they have to sit there <laughs> and yeah, be surrounded yeah. by people way better than them, and then just feel the shame. There's even like a special camera that pans to them specifically when they lose. Like when I look at these great <laughs> games, and it's like, <laughs> dang. No, I mean, we made I would love that we, so much. We, we want to take a moment to appreciate child. people like EA, and they point to the guy, and it is, you guys fucking suck. <laughs> they right, the moment when they really tear them down. All right, let's 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 uh, right. let's get into some questions. I do want to get into this one because uh, it's something that, I mean, I'm going to choose to trust this. I don't know how accurate this information is, but I have no choice. I, I know I could just Google whether or not this is true. I refuse to because it's simply not worth my time. 
Very but cool. Salty Lemon wrote it. He says, not a question. I just want to let you guys know that pastrami is made from brisket. The brisket is brined for like a week to ensure the salt penetrates through the meat. I just didn't know this because I felt like there was like that a million different untrue. types of pastramis. It sounds it sounds legitimate enough. Like I could believe that, right? If this guy's lying to me, then he's going to have a rude awakening when he wakes up with a fucking gun in his mouth because I refuse to be that's, lied to. That's really I refuse to be extreme. fucking lied to. Do not lie to me. I will kill that's you just really straight up. Extreme. It's not extreme. It's called standing he up for yourself. Wakes up with a fucking Fucking standing up for off in his mouth, <laughs> tasting nickel, and he's like, <laughs> he's awake so with a fucking gun in his face. Sometimes you gotta, you know. Sometimes you gotta <laughs> murder, right, well, man. I just looked it up real quick. It is uh, is legit. It, it is, is true. Legit. Good. Yeah. yeah th- th- I was. I was reason, thinking because like, about the strong as pork. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what I thought. I, th- I could have sworn. I don't know. I don't know what I thought about pastrami, but it was not. I didn't think it was brisket. So I appreciate the uh, man. Brisket is a brisket is a pretty fucking good meat, man. Pretty good. Now that I know that that's Probably pastrami, that's, that's pretty. Solid. It makes sense, though. I guess you know it's all smoked. Like since it's smoked, it's all pink and shit. So I get. It. I get. Yeah, it. It makes sense. All right. That fair information, enough. though. That information, though, is like one of those things where it's like it wasn't worth the effort to Google it for me. Um, and I was kind of thinking about. Like what? What things are worth? And I and I was thinking about how like, like how low the twenty dollar bill has fallen, you know? Yeah, it's crazy. Like as a like in as our a lifetime bill, too. It, like in our like I remember doing crazy shit for twenty dollars. I remember jumping down like a two story elevator shaft and rolling in high school for twenty dollars, which is fucking really stupid, especially because I'm small. Yeah. So that's like twice the height. Really, really dumb. White. It was, white, white. White. it was very white. It was very white. We were in white. a very white area, and th- to be fair, there's really not a lot to do. For you, it's but, your moments <laughs> where it's like you have your moments where you're you're probably doing things, and you're like, "I'm not technically white," and you're already in the middle. Well, I was, well, I was with, and you're like, <laughs> well, "Yeah, oh I no, with, oh, I'm already I, here." I, <laughs> The group of people that I was around, it's like I was pretty heavily outnumbered, and this was something that they wanted to do. I was like, "All right, well." I'm not going to be left like the behind. The moments where everybody's like getting caught for doing something stupid and they're giving their names and you realize, hmm, Smith, Jackson, mm. Kent, hmm, Ubuntu. Kent. Hmm. Oh, Ubuntu. I'm going to get in trouble for this because yeah. I'm not white technically. That's <laughs> not my last name. You're in a police car. <laughs> I oh, my God, white, guys. Man. So, so, I, so I was playing. Last night I was playing Gears of War. I, I, I jumped onto the original Gears of War. I'm gonna run through the. I'm gonna. I, I decided I'm just gonna run through the trilogy again. Uh, nice. In my off time, just because like cool. I love it. But I could not stop seeing. <laughs> I could not stop seeing Trump and Trejo from our from our stop. fucking Gears of War uh, <laughs> Daily Wire extra ammo rewrite, which you can find on the on Patreon <laughs> patreoncom slash Star Trek, By the way, extra ep- extra. Come episode. on, Marcus. Come on, Marcus. Marcus. There's, go to there's so many. <laughs> there's so many. Like there's there's moments that I just forgot about. Like when he's like when when Marcus is in like the 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 what is it the the Raven and the guy's like you're Marcus Phoenix right the guy who fought at Asheville Fields wow that's so cool and he goes not really and I just thought about like <laughs> Trump would be like hey, absolutely it's cool he, he'd be you're like this like, is the, like, the, the, the coolest thing you're ever right, it is saved so your cool. life. You're not here uh, without me. I fucking risked my life to save everybody. I'm you would not be here without me. I would. <laughs> <laughs> Give me top uh, that, right now. That, top look, me that off trilogy, right now. That trilogy is in some respects completely ruined for me. It, but, but like, I, I love it still. It's not ruined in a way that makes it worse, but it's it's definitely like, I don't know. It's like when, a fi- when like too many memes come from like a series. It's almost like how f- some people feel about Breaking Bad. You know what I mean? Where it's like there's too That's many memes. That's how I feel about Breaking Bad, honestly. <laughs> um, I can't watch that show many- anymore, dude. It's so many fucking memes. <laughs> Early 2023 was obnoxious. I think it's a great show. It's a fantastic show. It's like there's like <sighs> maybe two shows I put up there. Break- no, well, there's two modern shows and then two shows from like maybe like 10, 15 years ago that I put up there. With Young Sheldon. Like, I think This Is Us. <laughs> this is us okay. yeah. and Game of Thrones are up there with it. I think it's Young lot. Sheldon I, and the Good Doctor for me. It's like those are top tier. Yeah. And then sure, with, the, with the new mind. series, absolutely. Absolutely. well, there's a they new both series coming out about common with you. It's crazy. <laughs> but no, but there's a new there's a new series. There's a new series coming out around uh, about even younger Sheldon. 
Did you see that? Ch- <laughs> infant Sheldon. <laughs> it's it's Being called Sheldon. it's called Sheldon Eternal. It's, called... <laughs> it's young, even younger Sheldon's the name of the show. That's crazy. <laughs> even younger Sheldon. More younger Sheldon. He's just a fucking fetus being a pompous piece of shit. He's just a it's nut. Just, He's just it's a nut. Literally, <laughs> it's literally just fucking baby geniuses, but with one. It's just it's one baby with no one to talk to. He's Stewie, basically. Yeah, 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 yeah. Have you the guys seen Bruno? Have you guys seen Bruno? Have you guys seen Bruno? Have you guys seen Bruno? Uh, that Shia, uh, Shia LaBeouf, the, Sasha, the Sasha, Sasha Baron, yeah, it's pretty Shia much LaBeouf. the opening of them. The pretty Actually, opening of that movie is the opening of Baby Sheldon. Is this the, the dick coming? Is this a dick I like coming the and idea. it's Sheldon's sperm flying yeah. up his mom's uterus and inseminating her? I like That's the idea of it being just. Begin- I like the idea of it going so far. Like you have young, you have <laughs> Big Bang Theory, then you have young Sheldon, then you have even younger Sheldon, then you have more younger Sheldon. <laughs> More. And then you just keep and then, going. And then, then you, you have, have very, very, very young Sheldon. And then, yeah, then you have conceptually in yeah. like, like and then you just Sheldon. have n- <laughs> not Sheldon. It's just, and it's no, just no, no, no. Osmosis no, no. Then the Jones, but then at Sheldon the end is the as Sheldon a question mark. Is the Sheldon question mark? Sheldon? Yeah, yeah. Then it's, <laughs> then it's a aborted Sheldon is a is an alternative universe. Universe. Dude, I oh, I universe. adore. I fucking adore the idea that it's just called Sheldon. <laughs> Sheldon? <laughs> That's so fucking stupid. Sheldon? Because then because then the announcer is like like Sheldon. like because then like the marketing like the like the in between like a you know how like coming up next on Disney Channel like the, like those types of people they would have to be like coming up next on Sheldon. Shelt, like they would have to enunciate the question mark. <laughs> I love that. The, oh man! All right, come, so. come, 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 me, come, come, come. I don't know how the I don't know how the the big that's, bang theory. That's two and a half goes. men, isn't it? Yeah, it's just, it's all the same to me, dude. I, I know I the know. Sheldon, I know the Sheldon, 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 Sheldon. <laughs> <laughs> I really hate that show. I hate Big Bang Theory so much. Dude, it and is Lily really likes shows that show suck too. Dick. Lily likes that show, and her dad likes that show. And no, I'm like, they How don't. The fuck? They don't. Swear like to God, it. they do. They say no, they do, see, and they I look down on them. Though. I I want to I want to sit every person down that likes that show and convince them because I know I'm right. I know I'm right. Damn. That that show okay, sucks. Adolf. They don't actually like okay, it. Okay, Adolf, get your shit off. Adolf, let's go. Get your shit off. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. In let's just... my benevolent dictate, I guess I wouldn't be so benevolent in that because there would be a lot of people I discriminate against. I would 100 percent brainwash, and le- if they don't accept that that show isn't funny, I would lobotomize them. Get your shit until- off, Adolf. Go ahead. Because go ahead. Like, <laughs> go ahead. I, it is. It is. It is a. I, I, we sh- I've said this before in the show. Like, there's got to be case studies in this in years to come on yeah. how these people tricked millions of people to think this shit's funny. Because I still have yet to see a – and to be fair, maybe if I watch, like, an entire season, I'd get, like, maybe three or four, like, chuckles. But every other scene that I've seen did nothing for me. And I'm like, I like a lot of – oh no, I have – I am not just dick and fart jokes guy, right? I'm not. I have a wide array. I can enjoy a lot of dry humor. I, 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 it's it's very. That's just not one of them. A lot of those shows, to be fair, though, a lot of those shows, like say, the, yeah, those show CBS, I think it was or ABC or whatever. I think CBS. Yeah. Um, it, they're just Something not. Like they that. don't do anything for me. Um, they're bad. They're, written they're, in they're a not. Way they're that, just. They're not good. I don't up. understand. Like, it's it's like uh even SNL to to be fair, I think <laughs> to be fair SNL to me was technically the writers were never funny to me. It was just the comedians at the time, like when the all star cast, like you know, uh, back in the day when like David Spade and all those people were like killing it. I think that these were really funny people and they just knew how to improv really well. But I think the writing's always been shit in my opinion. Well, um, I liked a the- lot of. Yeah, go ahead. that's kind of the point of SNL really is like because like they have a week to put a show together you know what I mean and it's like a bunch of right like the idea it, it's kind of like Monty Python where like not most of Monty Python and most of SNL and most most sketch comedy shows like most of it especially if it's live it's gonna like most of it's gonna suck like you're really kind of waiting through like for the 20% of it that's golden 
You know what I mean? That's kind of what a lot of good SNL is. It's like it's like the golden nuggets plucked out of like pretty mediocre episodes. Like iconic iconic moments from like SNL are like like you could count probably months between them. You know what I mean? In like I actual mean, for a certain episode, period of time, it was content. more succession. Like it was more often a certain period of time. You know, yeah, but that late eighties to early nineties group that was cons- pretty consistently funny. It uh, all right. I feel. I feel. I, I. I guess. I think I'm a little bit harsher, and, and I feel like the vast majority of the show is almost never funny. Uh, and, and yeah, there's like I, that's gold. True. There's yeah, the diamond in the roughs. Uh, and and a lot of people that let's say like a Big Bang Theory or the people that keep that show afloat, because, god damn, I watched. I've I've given that show so many fucking chances, and I, I was just like, I I'll put it this way, there have been late night uh, Jimmy shows and and monologues that I found more intriguing than a lot of the oh, sketches easily. that I've seen. Yeah, easily. And I'm like, easily. what the fuck is happening? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's good. It's it's cra- you got to treat you got to treat Saturday night, Saturday night live like it's a decade of music you missed and you're just sifting through a playlist of like greatest <laughs> yeah. hits. You know what I mean? Like it's just like you can't like I've seen some clips recently like from SNL that have been pretty funny. Like the, n- there's a mm. comedian Nate Bargatze that was just on. He had like a couple he had like actually like two good sketches, which is kind of nuts for like modern SNL usually there's only one uh a Tell month you what. max. There's probably people listening right now that are probably uh, annoyed. I would say die. No, actually, just uh, <laughs> send me, <laughs> send me, uh, link me some shit that you think, knowing who I am or who we are, send something that you think like, oh, you'll definitely like this because I'm I'm open-minded. Yeah. I was open-minded with Big Bang Theory. I gave it multiple chances. I wasn't just, I'm not a bandwagon hater at all. And and then, but it, it's solidified. It's, it's fucking there's shit. A, there's a pretty there's a pretty good one that I thought was pretty funny, which and it's largely because Nate Bargatze as a comedian is so bad at acting that it like it makes it it makes it twice as funny that it's that it is what it is. But he plays like George Washington founding the United States, and he talks about like how he we're gonna make a nation that like you know that arbitrarily measures things very differently and all, all this like all these like little little oh. things and then he's <laughs> yeah. like there's a black guy in his troop and he's like what about what of men like me and he goes you asked about the temperature we're gonna go fahrenheit instead it's just like he it, it, there's something he about just it ignores <laughs> like he just completely, <laughs> he completely he ignores, completely ignores it. It. <laughs> and it's not it's not and that's like a that's like a you know that's like a C tier joke in and of itself, but it's like something about the, the how unconvincing this guy is as George Washington. Like really fucking, it really sells it. That's ridiculous. But yeah, I don't know. There's there's like some good ones, but it's like uh, yeah, I don't know. It's SNL is is, is I, I've given up on sketch comedy until people link me things because even sketch comedy shows that I like, like Key and Peel, like I, I'm watching a full episode of Key and Peel sometimes. And I'm like, that was one of those that was like really good. You know, like they're all mm-hmm. good. Mm-hmm. But like, yeah, like the, I remember I remember the episode with the burn victim uh, insult comic like that was easily. Yeah, that was easily the best one wild. of that episode, like by a lot. And it was that just episode, like, All right. that, that snippet is wild. Ha, ha, I actually ha. might not Tell have seen me that. more. Dude, that is th- that is probably one of my fa- <laughs> that is that might be my favorite sketch. I don't know. It might, that might be a bit that might be a bit intense. There's a it, lot, it's definitely man, one of my of favorite good sketches. Ones. It's insane. My favorite sketch is definitely the zombies. I don't eat black people. That shit fucking had me in tears. Mm. Oh, I'm gonna miss that one. I'm kind of, I'm kind of yeah. realizing maybe I haven't seen a lot of that show because you guys just named two, and I'm like, what? what? Or that. the ghetto black <laughs> names, like the, like the, um, like the Kim draft Peele. readings. Oh, the, the ridiculous fucking, yeah. black the, the football names. ones. The that college shit's football. Crazy, dude. That shit's good. Yeah. That, that show got canceled. Good. Dude, I cannot believe Le it got canceled. Carpetron Duke Marriott is my favorite fucking <laughs> name ever. Carpetron Duke Marriott. I don't want to. Yeah, I, I don't want to spoil. Every day. I feel like I feel like what Kim Peel succeeded that the Chappelle show. Chappelle show is a immortalized show that's extremely funny. But what Kim Peel succeeded with Chappelle show didn't is that Kim Peel. I feel like comedy. What makes comedy work for me personally is you have to be the joke at the end. Like your ridiculousness or your wild reaction is what makes comedy funny for me. 
like this thing may be weird to you, but you interact yeah, like when you with watch, it makes it fucking fun. It's, it's, it's like when you watch uh, babies fall out of uh, skyscrapers and plummet to the ground and you laugh. Well, that's this, that's that this, this, <laughs> that's this trauma laughing that I've become part of my personality. Yeah. Like that's what makes me laugh now. And it's sad. It's really not good. Maybe, <laughs> like, you know what? I'm, I'm starting to, I'm starting to think watch, to myself. I don't watch like, babies get hurt. I watch like people go through like really terrible situations and then I laugh at the situation. And then when I find out they get hurt, I'm like, oh man, that so, was rough. And then I watch it again. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I don't want to be, this I don't want to be, this is all making me video. think, this is all making me think <laughs> that maybe I should give young Sheldon another, I say it. another shot as if I gave it one in the first place. I was, but, I was actually surprised. <laughs> I was like, oh, you no, watched it. I've never seen a single episode of Young Sheldon. But maybe I, I should, haven't maybe seen I'll, I'll, a I'll binge. second of it. Yeah. I, I, I don't know if I've seen a single clip of it, to be quite frank. Uh, so I, maybe maybe I'll watch it. I'll report back to see if it's really, really life-changing television. If it's not, I'm going <laughs> to microwave my penis. <laughs> Let's go. Young Sheldon right. is so terribly bad that if I All right, let's move on I bet I bet you couldn't sit through a whole episode of Young Sheldon we'll see that's I, I, I could I easily win that bet he, I bet you would dissociate I bet you couldn't sit down and focus on it no oh, I would tell the entire plot yeah, yeah. you can't yeah, you yeah, can't sit down. Yeah, yeah, you can't yeah, yeah. you couldn't <laughs> sit down you couldn't sit down and then write a like uh, just a quick four paragraph review of it like no like, I dissociate like, I dissociate watch? watching I that's, dissociate watching things that I like so like the, no crazy, chance bro. no chance in hell how many gonna, seasons was that oh let's move on fuck I don't want to talk about more that more, more than you would assume Sheldon. hey Siri more than you would assume how many seasons of young Sheldon was there oh, God, let the android Siri, tell us this. six seasons <laughs> my <laughs> synth phone just told me that the fact that there's more than one season of something like that is it is wild is insanity. <laughs> you know what's crazy is that I read I read in like an article that like in order because the show was going on way longer than they anticipated, like they had to keep shrinking Sheldon the actor because he kept growing. Like he kept growing, the so they, they like, kept like they like they would shaving throw him in his the shins. They, they would they would shave his shins. They would throw him in the dryer for forty minutes. They, they would all this come kid. and beat on him for like twenty minutes a day. They start whooping they him with fucking him, various they gave sharp him, objects. They, gave, they they took water out of his diet entirely. Only let him drink coffee. They threw him in the dryer. They <laughs> they, they shaved him. his shins. They, <laughs> they would they would dr- they would put him in like a really stiff like full body straight cast and drop him straight down from two stories so That's that his spine crazy. would compact. That's it's crazy. crazy. <laughs> Hey, speaking of uh, speaking of that that tactic that you just said, I was yeah. um, I don't know how he got there. Oh, someone was trying to say there was a Mandela effect with uh, ET, uh, saying that he never said ET phone home, but it's bullshit. He does. It's just some people that are. I think there's people trolling Mandela effects now. It's crazy. Oh yeah, it's, it's, people, people are like, like trying to. They're fucking with people. Now. I love that. And, I uh, love that. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. That's and so all you I went do, and watched Chris. It. What do you mean you love that? That's you. It, it totally That's your it, behavior. It is, it's actually a pretty it good niche. Totally, like it would be a uh, it would be a good uh, thing to start because it would go viral, and then there would be a handful of people in the comments saying no, and you ignore them. We should do that. <laughs> we should do, like next episode. Next episode, we should just lie. Like, did you know that? Like, you know this. You know that's actually the, fr- the the phrase from Superman. It's actually it's a plane, it's a bird, and it's, no, it's Superman. <laughs> yeah, that would be. And people are like, no, no shit, no way. You did that good with the the um, the uh, sh- uh, what's his. Uh, Full metal sheen, full metal sheen. <laughs> full metal, full, full, full that was a good metal one. sheen. Yeah, that was a good one. But that's yeah, that that's just one, more of a lie. Like I, I do want to like bit. I do want to base it in something. I do want to. That would be fun. Oh yeah, based on something fake that exists. Mandela, like a fake Mandela. Like what is something like? Uh, oh man, what is? We, yeah, we gotta we gotta workshop this off off camera or something because that's a good that's a really good idea. Yeah, just f- that'd be good. Blind to people, I love it. Uh, <laughs> the Mandela worm. effect things are crazy because I don't even I don't even take time to get involved with them anymore. I'm just like, whatever, dude. That can be true. Like, did you know the food of the loom thing was this? And I'm like, I don't even care anymore, dude. Whatever. It's actually sure. a dick and balls or something. I was like, sure. yeah, sure, dude, for sure. Like, it, the thing it, it, that bothers yeah, me about that stuff is that like we're past the point where we could ever truly know. You know what I mean? Like, not really. Fruit of the Loom, like, because I saw somebody with like a shirt, like an old shirt with the cornucopia logo that Fruit <laughs> of the Loom insists was never a part of it. But like, fuck, do I know? Like, you could just buy a label maker on, on Amazon for like fifteen bucks and do that. You know what I mean? Like, it's over. 
Who does like, that though? Like who? What person does that? No one. Does I that. would do that. You gotta. That's find, the thing. It's gotta... like I would do that. I would <coughs> reprint. I would find the most authentic <coughs> way to reprint that Pokemon card and spell Onyx the way I thought it was, just so I could show it on a video on TikTok and have it blow up and confuse millions. Like I would do that. Why? Like, because Why? like it's, because because it's so cheap it's to do funny. that. It's so cheap. Like you used to be, you used to have to do crazy shit. It used to be so expensive and so <coughs> tedious to do that kind of thing that it wasn't even worth it. But now it's like, bro, like <coughs> Derek's putting fucking <coughs> giant dicks on Omni Man and getting eight million views. Why wouldn't you? <laughs> like, why wouldn't you just do this shit to fuck with people? Like, why not? Why wouldn't yeah. you just fucking lie? Just lie with me. Lie Mind alongside fun? me, <laughs> you bro. Fucking you guys demon watch King- serpent of fucking parrot. Kingston's You're chastising lying while also insisting that he he's a good person every episode. I don't like think I'm the, I don't think this. I'm the best person. I don't think That's I'm the worst. Point. <laughs> anyway, but there's just no point of just mistruthing people for no reason. Like especially out of boredom. That's so crazy. Kingston, <laughs> like, my, my, it's like I'm Kingston, bored. I'm gonna I'm bored. I'm gonna fabricate something. My gra- my grandma and Kingston resin thing. Is, that was funny. It, well, that's that what I'm saying. Funny. That's what I'm saying. It's like it would be funny. It would be funny well, to that see people. Is, that is that takes no time out of your day. Like I'm just gonna edit this real quick thing. That's fine. Whatever. I'll do this. I'll go on fucking. I'll go on Photoshop and I'll photo. Um, what is it? It's Photoshop. Yeah, I go to Photoshop and I'll just fucking whatever. Man. I'll just throw that together. Bro, I forgot. But then I like Photoshop lying Photoshop. about the fruit of the loom thing, buying a fucking label print, buying a label printer, and creating this fake shirt just to have people be like, was that? Was that what it was? It's insane. <laughs> That's I don't crazy. Know. I, I I don't know, man. That's a, see. Here's the thing. The difference is I understand why someone would do that because I see the I see the comedy in it for the person doing it. I I don't have the energy to do that though. Like I just don't I don't care enough to do that. But I see why people would, and that's why like I just I'm at a point where it's like I can't you can't trust anything now. Like the Mandela effect is obviously just like your brain doing bullshit. It's forgetting things. It's not real. There's no alternate alternate dimensions. But then like a company will go, well, hey, we never actually did that. That logo didn't exist. And then you see a label in the wild with that fucking thing that they insist didn't never happened. And then you're like, well, what the fuck is this? Why are you li- why, why are you fucking with us now? You know, it's I don't know, it, it's too much. Let's move on. I'm getting stressed out. Uh, <laughs> worm with a worm sized <laughs> worm with a worm sized gun wrote in. That's fucking terrifying. Interesting. <laughs> so wait, so is so wait a minute, is the gun? So when he says worm-sized gun, I assume he he's a trying to convey the same proportional size for a worm as a human. It's this, right. It's it's not a gun that is the size of a worm, even though that is because then that'd be a, it, a that'd be a him-sized gun at the moment. It wouldn't be a worm-sized gun. It'd be right, a, 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 yeah. worm, a gun-sized worm. How do you how do you reconcile size to proportions when you're talking about a worm-sized gun? Because a worm is like long and thin. But, like, a mm-hmm. gun has to be thicker than that. It can't be, like, a long, thin gun. You know what I mean? No, it's just a gun for the... Like, however, however, a, like, a, 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 nine, a M9 pistol, for me, imagine a gun that was proportionate to the size of a worm. Not in, the, okay. not, not in, not in, um, not in like, dimensions exactly, but in disproportionate size for a human. Would that so kill you? Would, would a worm-sized gun kill you? No. Probably not. It would kill a worm, probably. <laughs> It would yeah, kill yeah. a worm. <laughs> it would kill a worm. Anyway, he wrote in. He says, hey there, legal mining operation. Video game question for you. I have been and still am an oblivion person, but I always felt like I missed out by not liking Skyrim. But after trying the survival mode, I've been able to personally enjoy the game. So it got me thinking, do you have any game modes or gameplay systems that helped you get into a game you previously didn't care for? <clears throat> I was about to make that like worse for some reason. But <sighs> I've, I, I just got to say that it is, um, man, I don't know, man. Uh, I've, I've, Sk- Skyrim is just a lot better. It, it's, it's kind of bizarre to not get into it. Yeah. It's just, well, a there, lot to be fair, it's just to be fair to Oblivion. First, I think. To be fair to Oblivion, <laughs> Oblivion is fucking so funny. It's charming. It is so no, but like like the the the, the, 
the unintentional comedy that happens as a result of Oblivion being as jank as it is in a way that Skyrim isn't. Skyrim's jank, but it's not like Oblivion level jank. Like Skyrim's pretty polished in comparison, which is wild. But Oblivion just has these like really awkward actors, these really gross looking facial animations, these really like hilarious like why do I come to the arena? And then the guy like explodes and flies into the sky. Or like you have like a you have like a guy who's looking for like I'm looking I'm I'm looking for Gorthwin Windell. He's in hiding. And then you turn to the right and it's him and he goes, I'm in hiding from the Imperial Watch. And it's like just these ridiculous moments that are it, it's ma- I've missed out on Oblivion completely. Like I just didn't play it. Like I played maybe five minutes of it before I was like, this plays like absolute dog shit and I refuse to play it. Uh, so I just never continued with it, but it's it's like seeing these things online have made me consider like going back to it or like trying it because like that's it's fun. It's just the comedy of it is so everything good. is just so improved as far as uh, especially like your fucking menu, dude. God damn. Like, oh, yeah. uh, the, the, uh, it, it's one of the things where that's it's like sure. menu is fucking awful. <laughs> It's horrible. Dude, dude. It's crazy, and uh, it's it's, it's so it, it is interesting. If somebody's an Elder Scrolls fan and they didn't really get into Skyrim, it, it it's interesting to run into those people because it's because uh, I know there's people that are still like, oh, uh, Morrowind superior, this is superior. And I'm like, I, I get what you're doing, I understand that, but as far as just the w- the way that Skyrim runs, it's just a better experience overall. So it yeah. is interesting that that happens, but you know, to each their own. Uh, now, as far as the question goes, Skyrim survival mode sounds kind of dope, actually. <laughs> I don't think I yeah, ever thought I've never about even, doing that. Yeah, I've never, I've never thought about that either. Ooh, that um, is a game that I eventually. I, so I'm trying through. to think of like something. Oh, I didn't, I didn't get into it until a specific mode. Um, I guess oh, technically, Skyrim, literally, actually, I never, I never mo- Modern Warfare, uh, so, so Call of Duty. I never played. The only game close to that I ever played was Black on PS2. Oh like, my god! I played god. Black. Yeah, I played Black, which was fun. Oh my oh. god! I haven't heard anyone mention Black in a long time. Did you buy Dude, it because you felt like fun. you had to? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Are you serious? Isn't Black the game with like the tendrils and stuff? Like you get to like like wrap people up with like shadow tendrils. What? No, that's uh, that that's um, no, that's uh. The darkness, I think. Okay, yeah, yeah, no, this is just like that spec ops, or I forgot. I don't even remember what That's kind of soldier crazy. you are. You bought black because you're black. Because I'm. <laughs> you were like, I no, guess I gotta play this game. I bought it specifically <laughs> because I thought the uh, <clears throat> the uh, the advertising was cool. This nigga would be yeah. like black, and it, it was, has all these it fucking, was cool. all these shells on the on the cover. Like, I know uh, what game um, we're talking about now. So yeah, black, black, cool. is, black is a game that I, I, I totally. It's <laughs> weird. Like I'm a big FPS guy, but like I totally missed out on it. I think I just didn't. I just felt like I wasn't I allowed to it. play it or something. Mm. Um, black was really like fun. I, I only felt like it was. It, I even even at the time I felt like I was going too fucking slow. Like I felt like yeah, it is. I yeah, felt it's like slower. I, yeah. I, I couldn't. Like I was like I, let me go. I want to you know. But anyway. Uh yeah, so I missed all, all of the Call of Duties. I didn't play any. Of that. I didn't play any Medal of Honor, or any of that shit. I didn't even play the first Modern Warfare. So Modern Warfare Two came out, and that's when oh, really? you know I yeah I skipped all of that shit. Modern Warfare Two got me hooked for a while. Where I don't even I don't fuck with multiplayer. Like other than I did a little bit of co op stuff online with uh, like yeah. Mass Effect and whatnot. Uh, when Mass Effect uh, Three came out, I, I played that for a lot. Uh, but yeah I, yeah, I normally don't do PvP, is what I'm saying. But that shit, like I prestiged like one of my characters, which is something I never and I've never done since then because I just don't yeah, spend I don't think that I've much ever, time. Damn, that's why I don't think I've ever done that. Yeah, I fucking never again. But I, I was obsessed for a minute. I it was definitely point- prestiged at least once in my Call of Duty Modern Warfare Two. I think yeah. I had the option to prestige, really and then I was like. Two. I had the like, option and- to prestige, and then I was like, "Why the fuck do I want to get rid of?" No, I'm yeah. Not, why would you want to start reset- over again? I'm not gonna reset my progress. Are you stupid. <laughs> I definitely did at least once. It's just yeah, but, uh, bad. It's just bragging rights. It's so stupid. Yeah, yeah I, I couldn't for care. It. I, I could care so I couldn't give less of a shit about bragging rights in Call of Duty. I was like, "You're <laughs> fucking out of your mind." I worked for all these guns. I'm keeping them. I'm gonna I'm gonna blow all you people away. Oh yeah, prestige. Have fun with your fucking unusable guns. Stupid, but. Yeah, that's 
Do you guys <laughs> Do remember the first time you guys used the FAMAS in Modern Warfare 2? And you no. were like, fuck, this gun is stupid as shit. The first time I used that gun, I was like, this gun is fucking dumb. Because I was just like, oh, I'm just going to aim for the head. And at least two of the shots hit the person in the head and they died. And I was just like... It's a busted... It's a Yeah, I really... Nice. No, <laughs> no. I don't know. I'm trying to think of like an exact. I, I think GTA Online, the original Grand Theft Auto Four, got me into Grand Theft Auto in a way that I mm. I wasn't previous. Because I I don't know, like putting in cheat codes and like getting a like a jet or something in San Andreas it was fun, but like it was still just a sandbox of like AI. You know what I mean? That where you were fucking around with. But like when I when I learned that like GTA Four had like a multiplayer mode where you could just like run around new the entirety of new york city and just mow other people down with your car and and just th- like it, that shit was that shit was like i'm so excited for this and i spent hours in in the original grand theft auto 4 online it was fucking ridiculous me and i blind we would get helicopters and we would like fly down city streets and like tilt the blades so that they were like scraping against the street <laughs> and just people up. it was fucking ridiculous just the juicing ca- people dude dude the, ca- the i i still honestly i don't know how gta 5 online is now i i just i tried it originally and i just didn't like it's it i felt like they overcom insane. they overcomplicated <laughs> a lot of things with like with vanilla gta because like in gta 4 it was just straight up like free for all you had like death matches and stuff but like it was mostly just like hey you know Here's New York City. There's weapons and equipment around the map and, like, armor and stuff. Just fucking run around and have a good time. But, like, in GTA V, they had, like, car insurance. And, like, yeah. you had to buy your cars. And, like, you couldn't steal other players' cars in a game. In Grand Theft Auto, it was crazy. Yeah, if they but, had insurance, it would, like, lock out and shit or whatever. I'm yeah. like, oh, this is stupid. <laughs> yeah, it, it just felt, it felt too... And maybe, honestly, maybe it's dope now. I haven't played it since literally 2013, so maybe it's significantly better. But oh, wow. I just, I just loved the freedom of GTA 4 and how just chaotic it was because that shit was. You did, <laughs> just did they have people, online back then? Yeah, did, uh, did, in, did, in what did it launch? It, no, yeah, it, well, it was it 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 did, but so GTA Online came out. I think like. A month or two after it the was, but it was after. still like a little bit. It was, it was still a little. Okay. It was a yeah, little after. after. Yeah, I yeah. don't remember yeah. that the exact like, time frame, your, but I know it was a little after. Race and stuff, and your family, and you told your parents, shit, and I was like, "This is weird." And then I remember playing it. And this is kind of nothing to do. And then I played it again, like maybe in 2017. No, I played in. I played it over COVID. Over COVID, it's wild. It was a wild experience. It was like so much. You shit played over COVID. On. Uh. Cause when they had the gang wars, like people just cat like you were, if you had an alien suit on. Oh the right, I forgot about that. They would kidnap you and like beat your ass and like leave you random places and like take the <laughs> shit. Like that's really fucking I fun. I completely but, like, forgot about that. I'm kind of yeah. I'm kind of bummed. I'm kind of bummed that I missed that. Like, cause that I do love. Like, Grand Theft Auto Four Online is like some of the most some of the fondest online memories I think I've ever had. Like, sincerely, like as. Mm. It's literally, dude. Just running around New York City and fucking random people up is hilarious. It's 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 funny. So like, I'm kind of I'm kind of bummed that I let the initial kind of lame wave of GTA Five online kind of sour me because I just never I never went back to it. And I feel like I missed out on all the cool shit. But mm. anyway, Same. it's that's definitely so. the mode that I think of because I don't think without without those memories of GTA Online and Grand Theft Auto Four, I don't know if I would have bothered playing and beating Grand Theft Auto Five this like this year. Which I did, by the way. I, fi- I finally finished it. Oh, wow. <laughs> kind of <Yeah>. lackluster ending. <laughs> it's so long. Very kind of mad ending story, story game. Very mad. I, oh, I, me. I disagree. T- I thought it was fucking sick. GTA um, 5, really? GTA 4. Oh, okay. I didn't play 5. I haven't I like, played five GTA 5. Just, well, I haven't five finished really, it. I haven't finished man. it. I beat 5 when it first came out, and I beat it again, like, in maybe, like, no, I beat. I just, I just I, finished 4. It's so funny watching my achievements, because it's like, my first achievement is, like, so I don't know, like 2008 or 2009 or something, and then like the last one is 2024. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's so it's, crazy, it's insane. Hilarious. But anyway, what time is it? Well, how much time we got? We got. We'll, we'll do one more question, and then we'll we'll back out. You're drinking Prime right now. You're drinking Prime. Oh, uh, man, I didn't think you were gonna notice. Damn, you got Logan Paul's cock in your fucking throat. I didn't want you. I didn't. I was hoping y'all were gonna you notice. Fucking rat. Fuck. Look at you. Look at you. Hey, I I wanted a cheap, inexpensive, non-threatening energy drink because uh, 
I'm having stomach issues again. And so yeah. I'm trying to drink something. I shouldn't be drinking energy drinks at all, but I went hard in the pain in the gym and I need something. I need it. You know, fix like that tummy issue. Just cock. It's cock in your mouth, bro. It's fucking hey, man. dick in your throat. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to get Did a piece of Did you see what I tweeted today? No. Did you see what I tweeted today? God, would you? <laughs> Oh, Every time I'll, you I'll say that, it. it has the, when you say that, it has the energy of like a four year old coming. Look what I drew. <laughs> <laughs> it literally yeah, is like that kind see, of shit. I see, see Twitter I like it's a place where I dump the stupidest shit, my stupidest thoughts, dude. That's, I what, use that's what you stopped. You, wait, hold on. You did not stop the show to, to say that you tweeted that. You did. You did not just. It's so stupid. What, what did you say? It's so beyond stupid. <laughs> repeat again. Repeat again. No, I, I, I want. I want everybody to hear hear what you what you post on Twitter. I want everybody to hear the masterpiece here. It's really. It's really. It's not special. You know. Read it. Read it. Read it. No, read it. You, you, it's you like, made dude, a point you to highlight it. Just have a day where your dick feels a little more, a little more plump than usual. You know. That's it. You know. <laughs> just asking. You know. All right. You feel a little plump. <laughs> Sometimes you feel a little more plump down God there than you. You know. Yeah, maybe, well, maybe there's a little bit more blood in the. Got a little more, uh, the, got a little uh, more hog than you had last time, you know. I think that's what. I think that is so actually common. <laughs> like, like, you got a little more. got a little more. Yeah, it's totally more common. Nist than you, got a little more nist than pee, you know. <laughs> nist than pee. It's weird. It's weird to even notice that sometimes. Like sometimes I'll notice. I'm like, you're looking, you're looking thinner today. I'm looking a little looking. fat today. God damn, bro. He's looking a little you know, sometimes I'm a little disappointed. I'm like, hey man, what's what's going on? And then I, I get scared because I'm I'm getting older. And so I'm like, oh, is this just uh is this is that a, is it? a product is this of it? just hey. <laughs> Yeah, I was like, is this a is this product ED? of being older? Is this, do I, is this ED? Do I need to pop on like the hardest core of porn to like kind of get myself a little amped up, you know, like just get a little juiced up again? You gotta start taking rhino pills, bro. <laughs> You guys get rhino pills, dude. Do they have? Oh, I guess they have boner pills that are safe now. Uh, I don't go. I don't want safe ones. Yeah, you. Yeah, you point? want those what's ones the... that are gonna like damage your liver after like two fucking pills. I want the. <laughs> I want the ones that like. I'm like. I want the ones that like. You know, like in the fucking cartoons where like the character takes it and they're like, I gotta use this one when I desperately need it. I want those kind of ones, dude. I don't That's have crazy. an excuse yet because I, I I can still do it whenever I need to do it. But like when I need to, it's gonna be hilarious. All right, this is a this is a good one. Punch good a luck. hole through Lily, dude. This, this is, is a good one. <laughs> this is a good one. I don't know about you, uh, but my good. vote goes to presidential candidate hilarious Rodham Clitoris. Oh my god! Nice. <laughs> what up, no cool. mom, no dad, and no sister? Damn! All right. Holy wow! Really, shit. really, really, really hit, really hitting us <laughs> where it hurts. Shit, man! Damn! <laughs> it is a good question. Trauma kids. Damn! Trauma boys. <laughs> All right. Yeah. What was the trauma first cast? time? Welcome to TraumaCast. I'm sad. Uh, when was the first time you ever <laughs> noticed that someone you look up to is younger than you are? Did it fuck with you? I remember finding out like nine years ago that JonTron is two years younger than I am. And I couldn't decide whether I felt hopeful that I could do that someday or more of a mess than I already was. I love this question because... It's weird. It's a weird there, question I've for come us, too. I've, I've come close. I've come close I, to this happening. I don't have any nothing at all. Well, the thing that. the thing me, that I, I noticed oh, yeah. specifically was like a lot of the YouTube animators that I knew or, or a lot of the YouTube animators that I I was in high school watching were either in my exact age or like just one year older. And that kind of blew my mind at the time. I was like, what the fuck? There are people like my age making shit that everybody in my lunchroom is consuming and like talking about. That's when I fucking weird. When I find out, found out that Lyle was genuinely only like two years older than me, my yeah. jaw dropped. Yeah, yeah, it's shocking. Lyle is just assumed- really not much older than me at all. Like Zach no, I, is, I think, two years older than me too. Zach, I mean, Zach might be young. I don't know. Zach might be younger. I, I, I honestly, Zach's like, not younger than me. Zach's the same. Not, not, is no, no, older than you. He's a year. Yeah, yeah, he might be a year older than me. Yeah, I don't older know, man. You, it's, it's, and Lyle's two years older than you. That's what's that, but so that's it's. Ne- I've never had an experience where somebody younger than me. I have definitely have. Who? Uh, Joey Badass, my favorite rapper, is one year younger than me. Mm. Oh I, yeah, I don't know. I don't. I don't. He is I, one I would, year I would never. I would never music. listen to the music of people who are younger than me. Like, there's no point. But <laughs> it's wild. It's wild um, thinking about it. He's he is one year. That's kind of crazy. He's born. They have I think nothing. In they, January, have, they, have, so. they have nothing to say. 
Uh, <laughs> really? That's such a wild yeah. thing to believe. But um, <laughs> I mean, the closest. Okay, okay. So the closest, Kendrick is one year older than me. So that's called like he, he's thirty six, and so that's like the closest. Uh, I get uh, I, I just looked on Wikipedia because Jonathan Young is somebody who I admired. John's I think, younger than me, dude. I think he's younger. And wait, how old I, I like, is, wait, how old is Jonathan Young? John so is 28, is the, dude. I've had John's conflicting. Wow. So I saw that he was 28, but then I'm like, I looked it up just to confirm like where he was, and I got conflicting ages. I was like, wait, what is he? So I guess, I, okay, he's 28. I, I, so I, that is I became something. pretty close with him. He's 28. That boy's he's, only I, young. I just, I, he's a yeah, lot younger was, than me, and, and I will tell you, that shit, I get really upset when 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 that happens when i see someone who's a lot younger than me and they're like so they're so beyond it. but this happens this happens to everybody when you think about it, most people are sports fans they grow up watching sports and then at a certain point everybody is younger than them because all the other people aged out they're all retired so i'm dealing with that right now where these these people that are making millions of dollars they're at the height of their career they're fucking like it. They're like thirty years old. They're like thirty two, and I'm like fuck. <laughs> so I'm experiencing what a lot of people experience, and uh, so it, it is yeah. weird though, because looking up is usually you, you're young as fuck looking up towards people that have existed for a long time. So it's rare when this happens. Yeah, I can't. I can't look up to people who are younger than me though. Like I can't do it. I can. It's, I can appreciate it. I can admire it's, it. I can be really like, hey, wild. that's a good. That's a good talent, man. That's that's sick. Well, because it's, it's I'm glad. I'm glad you. you I'm glad you dropped your pacifier to do this. Really cool, fucking, <laughs> really cool thing. God bless. It's weird. And you kind of have to be like because a, oh, John's family is a musician family. That's true. They yeah, yeah. are musicians. All right. of I was just, them I was, are I was literally just, I was literally just messaging him. I, I gotta, I gotta meet up. They're with him. all been, musicians. Been like he, like he is not an abnormal. Like he may be abnormality because of how yeah. far he's taken it with his family. Yeah, tell that nigga to come back on the show. But he, I was, yeah, I'll should. hit him up again. But he's not like they all play instruments, and right. it's wild so because have- his instrument's the piano, which is insane. That's his instrument, and I'm like, right. really? Like that's your piano? He's like, yeah, I'm a, I'm a pianist. It's fucking weird. I mean, and I can tell. Like, the piano else. is like the most. It, piano is the most versatile fucking instrument now. Oh yeah, because, it's, the, like, it's, it's the one it's, that teaches you. Well, not even thing. just that. It's just like, dude, you can play. If you can play piano, you can play anything because you just plug it into a fucking you machine. Can program it, and it just, to a yeah. and it just, yeah. <laughs> It's insane. Yeah, seeing but his solos, his key solo, you can tell that that is his instrument of choice. Yeah. Because it's like it's wild. Like it's like I would feel bad if like you know, like for me, it's like with my family with medical. Like everybody in my family is in the medical field for the most part, except for my sister who eventually went back into the medical field. But I'm just like ah, yeah. whatever, you know. Like it's, the, I feel no hate because I'm like I, just I will my say path. I will say something similar to this. It's not exactly the same thing, but it's in the same vein, I guess. <laughs> is there was a point. And I remember this very vividly. There was a point in my life where I started to realize that porn stars could be younger than me. And that was disturbing. That was a that very was disturbing. uncomfortable I think I was like feeling. 20, I think I was like 20, 23 or 24 by the time I thought about it. I was like, oh. Mm. Oh. Huh. Because when you're 15, none of that shit, like, you're not thinking about yeah, that at all. That's a, that's, a, that's a world away from you. It's a world away from yeah, you that's, at that moment. Yeah, that, that, that bothered the hell out of me. I remember this one time mm. I girded up my whole entire computer, completely covered in girt. I had to chisel it out. While I was chiseling right. out, saw the age of All a porn right. star. I was like, "Damn, dude, 24. This, this fucking I'm, guy. I'm 24 right now too. Felt really weird. <laughs> we're gonna be at the age soon where the milf porn stars we used to watch were definitely younger than us. That's weird. The what? The oh, milk the porn milf? stars are going to be younger than us. <laughs> it's going to be crazy. Yeah. We're already, yeah, we're, I'm, I'm going to turn 30 in, I'm 30 in three months, right? Derek, you're 34, yeah, yeah. right? I'm 30, I'm going to be 36 in March. You're going to be 36 and then you're 30 now, right? Yeah, I just turned 30. In like 10 more years, I'm going to go on porn, I'm going to be looking up, I'm going to look up mature, it's going to be the same age as me, bro. I'm going to go hit my, hit my, hit my classic MILFs, and I'm like, damn, 30 what? <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit down and be like, "Damn!" All right, I guess well, I'm done with on this. On that note, on that <laughs> note, let's get to, let's get the fuck out of here. Yeah, life is strange, bro. I love that game. No, I don't. No, you don't. Fuck, am I pretend? <laughs> we <laughs> played that game together. I've never seen you insult a game more viciously in my life. <laughs> it was for. It was you for. You wouldn't let was, that game live. <laughs> It was for content, to be fair. Like, I mean, whatever. Yeah, like, sure. you're, 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 you're having sh- fun. 
You, you're you're yeah, sure. you're joking. Anyway, count count me the fuck down. Hurry up. Three, two, one. Wait, hold on. I didn't have it. You gonna start speaking? I was yeah, like, what I the hell is this? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I, had a, I had a. I had this. <laughs> Did you guys get the video of Goku that I sent you in the chat? Wait, yeah, what? yeah, where he's just like talking shit. <laughs> <laughs> I love. I love that video so much. <laughs> or maybe I'll kill you. Yeah. All right. Fuck. Fuck. Bitch ass Patreon. Yeah. This website can suck my fucking balls and my dick and cock. <laughs> right. I love the stammer. Yeah, it's the stammer and the excitement at the end that really gets me. It's like, yeah, I'll kill you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love yeah, the stammer. Maybe That's my you. favorite yeah. thing, dude. The idea of Goku, be- Goku being like, "I'm gonna beat you till you till you can't walk," or maybe I'll kill you. Yeah, yeah. With it, like so an excited, excited tone is is fucking awesome. <laughs> um, I love the uh, stammer. Right. Anytime a character stammers, I'm completely in for it. I, I I'm agree. For it it, there's, I think you know what it is. Th- that I I honestly think that's why Family Guy got so popular really early because there was a lot of that going on, like the authentic like capturing of like stammering in in normal human conversation. Like there was a lot of that in early Family Guy. I don't know if it's there so much anymore, but it used to be. Like that's that, that oh, I love man. that scene in in like I, I can't remember if it's like one of the first three seasons or not. It's definitely early where like what is it? Peter and Mr. Peter Schmidt rob a train. Do you guys remember that clip? Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Not really. And they're just having, the, like, they rob a train, but, like, they're just like, oh, train robberies don't really, don't really happen anymore. It's, like, really an old, and, and, and they're just kind of, like, engaged in a really awkward small talk with the fucking ticket guy. And then they're going to, like, oh, well, we're going we're gonna to take your stapler. And he's like, well, that's, they're going to dock that for my pay if you take it. Like, it's, you're really only hurting me. Like, you're not. <laughs> it's, it, there's, I don't know. There's something. I love, I love that style of writing a lot. So smiling friends is quite a bit of too, actually. Zach show. I love the stammer. It's, it, um, it, it makes everything better, dude. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> gay, f- f- fuck you. Gay system of a down. Be like, we're left with no cum right in the power bottom. The song is bubbles. I like, I like how people. People are just <laughs> the song is bubbles. People, people he didn't even so, try anymore. Like, this is the this is the name of the song. <laughs> people are so sick of us not getting it that they're just like, okay, well, this is what I asked you for months, by the way, for. The parentheses, the song is Bubbles. I appreciate it. I have not heard Bubbles, though, so I'm, I'm in the dark with this one. Um, not really much of a system of a down person, honestly. Like, I've heard a little bit of it, but I haven't actually dived in. I've heard, like, Toxicity That's and fun. Lost in Hollywood and Chop Suey and the, and the big up. ones, but... Of course, so, I mean classics. I think I probably would have listened to, a, to them a lot more if I hadn't uh, lived in Glendale or uh, Burbank for as long as I have, because... I yeah, hear chill, the thoughts chill, and opinions chill, of chill, Armenians. Chill, 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 like, I don't, chill. you know, I, I'm not saying I'm not saying it's like I don't mean it in like a derogatory way. It's not like racist. I'm just like you know I've 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 heard what you have to say on mass. Like I don't I don't need it with like a melody. That's crazy. <laughs> Patreon cuts off my nah. Uh, uh, SpongeBob SquarePants more like blowjob gay pants. <laughs> So what the that fuck? Is so, dude? That is so stupid. That's dumb, but I also can't believe I've never heard that before. Um, so yeah. chimpanzee, bro. Gay pants. It's chim- so yeah, it's, it's gay pants. Bargains Forget. imprisoning me. All that I see. Absolute savings. No parentheses on this one. That is. Oh, is that I know what that is. That's imprisoning one. me. Is that what that is? Yes, yeah, one by Metallica. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's absolute savings. Absolute like savings. It's not gay at all. <laughs> it's, yeah, that's so it's, stupid. Why, that'll be the next, why, that'll is be he, the next is wave. He, the premise is he's having PTSD for it's such good sales. <laughs> the sales are too There's, good. <laughs> we should. That should be a new. Honestly, not a bad idea. Taking song. You know, because. Because that is something that actual commercials do. Like, they will take that popular songs and rewrite them to be about, like. Like I remember specifically Secret Agent Man, uh, I, for Walmart they had like a commercial in like, in like the late nineties, nineteen ninety nine, maybe two thousand one at the latest, where it was like that happy face going around with like a Zorro mask, slashing the prices to the song Secret yeah, Agent that. Man. But what? it was like why that? Yeah, I I don't know why this is stuck out to me. I oh because I thought it. I remember because I got chastised by my parents because I thought it said secret Asian man and they were like that's not Asian. What you're <laughs> I did too. I did too. Literally Asian. Hold man. on, that wait, shit was hold, stuck in my head for years. 
Secret to I have to, <laughs> Here it is, 1999. Wow, I nailed it. Asian man. Yeah. My grandmother would con- so Secret Asian man and it's just Keanu Reeves. Um <laughs> so back in my back in my younger years, back when I had a lot of Asian friends, right? And my grandmother constantly heard me make fun of my Asian because we made fun of each other. Obviously, that's what kids do to make fun of each other. Of my grandmother heard me make fun of my Asian friends so often she thought I was probably becoming racist to Asians. So that's every cool. time I made a joke like that, she would like fucking like call me out. She'd be like, Stop. That's not funny. Quit that. And she's like, who taught him? Did did his grandma grandfather come back from Nam and make him not like Asian people? Like, what pushed him down this road? And I was like, Grandma, it's I'm just repeating silly things I hear. Like, it's nothing, dude, nothing I like that. Like, dude, I, seeing, yeah, seeing, shut this, up, grandma. seeing this, <laughs> seeing this fucking commercial again. I put it in the chat. I can't fucking believe how how effective this thing is at taking me back to that time. It's fucking ridiculous. But uh, yeah, it, it, they change it to seek Mister Rollback Man. Which is which sucks, but mm. <laughs> like the idea is that he was slashing okay. all the prices and stuff. I see, but he, but he do, he's not Zoro. He he's doing the James Bond shit. He, for, yeah. First, I was like the way you described it. I was like they so they mashed up two things. Yeah, no, but, uh, I, I no, misremembered a, it. I, I think it's just because yeah, 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 I remember the yeah. sword being. Uh, I, I think remember the sword being a sword was another for some one, reason because I do remember him having a rapier in one for sure. Yeah, yeah. But it's do you guys do you guys remember the uh, there was a like did you guys ever watch this might be past Derek's time, but they used to play cartoons on Channel Five like way back in the day like back back know. back in the I day. Don't know. Maybe I don't know. <laughs> that's it. That's it I remember thanks. watching cartoons that I dude I've talked to people about cartoons Secret that nobody thing. remembers and it and it just it makes me feel crazy so I've st- I've learned to stop talking about cartoons. Um, Asian man. That was my I just whole like, life talking about Echo the Dolphin, and people were telling me it's not real, and I'm like, well, I'll talk about right, sure. I'll, well, I'll talk about stuff like, hey, you remember Lloyd in space, or like, or fucking uh, 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 the the Jumanji cartoon, and everybody would be like, mm-hmm. no, and I'll be like, okay, sorry, and then I'll apologize. Like earnestly, because I, I don't want to put bad. people in that position. Just walk out the but, room. My bad. But, sorry about I'm, that. Anyway, the point the point of bringing up Secret Agent Man Walmart in the fucking credits which are apparently going to take six hours is mm-hmm. uh we sh- that's not a bad like to make to t- like if we pick a company right like epstein's island it's not a company but like let's say for instance that it is and then find a song that we can like write like a commercial version for like mm. that could be kind of that could be kind of fun yeah, Come like to uh, Epstein's Gola Gola Island. Island. Yeah, yeah. Do you know? Do you know Gola Gola Island? The theme song to that. I I I don't remember let's it exactly. Rape together in oh the my bright God. sunny weather. <laughs> <laughs> let's all go to Jeffrey Epstein's island. And then yeah, there's exactly. that. Uh, and then we'll have like, the announcer come in. To, we'll have the the, the, yeah. the female announcer talk about like how like tickets to Epstein's island are free if, if, if for everybody with six kids. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, anyway, that's so fucked up. That's Let's so move on. fucked up. <laughs> Leon Sams, big meaty stinks. Andy, the man whose handies are S tier and dandy. Names son. What names son Gaku, not Kakarot? Okay, mm, Gaku. I don't know what I'm seeing. So <laughs> terrible. I yeah, get that's it. like son I- Gaku, and not Kakarot. Kakarot. That's I get it. Horrible. Gaku. Uh, yeah. <laughs> gok gok. <laughs> Derek, quick, picture Chris and Kingston both gazing into your eyes while they simultaneously corn cob your cock. What is corn cob? What is that? I uh, It's like, like when you fucking you know how people like you know how people eat corn cobs in a very aggressive manner sometimes. It's like that. Oh, Damn, I don't that's like crazy. That. Anyway, I don't want Heath that. Smoker. <laughs> Just yeah, really that gross. <laughs> Heath smoke. Heath smoke. Heath smoker. Homeless trans woman giving y'all the F slur pass. Hell yeah, dude. Hey. Um, I mean, I, it's too late. I already said it. You know, it's, right. So it's it's too late. Just said it and forget it. Said it and forget it. Only sleeping. <laughs> With only a Agate. shirt like Squidward is peak. Did you just wait? What did you just call me? Did I said say- agate. <laughs> yeah, yeah. it's all about the space. <laughs> yeah, it's the silence P-H that makes agate. it okay. Uh, P H agate, bro. Sleeping yeah, with only a shirt. Sleeping with only a shirt like Squidward is peak. Uh, Jesse Pink uh, Pickman. Nice. 
Uh, Colin sleeps like that, by the way. I hate that. I I, I don't I, I don't understand how you <laughs> he can, sleeps I, like a cartoon character. He sleeps he like sleeps, fucking Winnie the Pooh, man. He um <laughs> he does that. <laughs> Can you imagine going to bed with a t-shirt and no underwear, like, sincerely? Like, that's so fucking animalistic. He fucking, he oh, Winnie the Pooh's it. It's crazy. Why? That's disgusting. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. Is this for easy access? I don't get it. Just, no. What if, There's no, there, what if I need to fuck immediately? What if I need to have sex immediately? What, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> oh, my God. Have some fucking patience and resolve. <laughs> He Winnie the Pooh's it. That shit's fucking hilarious, bro. That is, that's great. I like that. He Winnie the Pooh's it. That shit is fucking crazy to me. You dude. have uh, some pants on and shirt off, which is normal. He's like, nah, fuck that, <laughs> fuck that. I sleep in <laughs> jeans and no shirt and boots. I like. <laughs> I sleep in just my blazer. You know what's really crazy? <laughs> it's so it's that's fucking that wild. Fucking that's fucking the wildest outrageous. ever in my life. Oh my god! But I it's really I, it's. I've definitely it's fallen really asleep in a blazer habit. once. I've definitely oh, wow. like laid in bed and just passed out after a wedding and just been like, I too too tired. With the to take blazer on, oh, man. I, yeah, that, that's the first thing that's coming up. That's I primitive. Throw that across that's the room. primitive shit, dude. Well, the thing is, it's like I wake myself up taking all of it off, like straight up. Like I, I, I'm st- I'm stumbling into my room, and if I take the energy to take my belt off, take my take all that shit off, it's I'm I'm awake now. Or more awake than I would be, and then it's so it's like Understand you know what I'm just I'm just gonna pass out. This is, I'm not gonna make a habit of this, but for tonight it's, it's the exception. Fair Rise enough. against reeducation to the sound of a black guy pounding away to the rhythm of the thrusting deep inside me. Homeless trans femme whose resolution is to fuck uh, Alexander the and the horse eating Philadelphians. <laughs> oh yeah, that's Whoa. right. I forgot about that. We talked about how people oh, right. really eat horses. <laughs> yeah, I just saw that Channel Five documentary about that. Oh Wait, yeah, but the, the um, about the uh, <laughs> Wait, uh what? The, the zombie about, about the zombie zombie land. That's Kensington, yeah. Kensington, Philadelphia, uh, Kensington, Kensington, Pennsylvania. Yeah. It's fucking insane. It's it's it ridiculous. There are people scraping old women's away face off, tranking. They're yeah, doing they're all on trank, and literally their 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 flesh is rotting. It's crazy. It's it is it's literally a zombie trank. apocalypse in Philadelphia. This is what I'm talking about. Like, man, Philadelphia is what people think. So many places are what people think New York is. And F- Philadelphia and Boston are those places. Mm. Like, it is crazy how standoffish everybody in Boston is. Like, to an unreasonable degree. Yeah. Like, unreasonably, like, mean. Like, for no reason. But they're really proud of being called massholes. I think that's the problem. Yeah. Like somebody gave them that name and they're like, yeah, like, let's embrace that. Yeah, let's be the let's biggest piece it. of shit ever. We had a 9-11 also kind of, even though it was only like a fraction as bad, but we'll we'll talk about it a lot. That's so <laughs> We'll talk about rude. it so much. That's so fucking rude. But I'm, I'm with it. Oh, I'm big it. deal. Big deal. Your marathon got bombed. Big yeah, fucking deal. By a pressure deal. cooker or some shit. Yeah, by a pressure cooker. By a pressure cooker or some yeah, shit. Yeah, so some fucking like, what was it? Some guys from like Chech- Chechnya or wherever the fuck they were from. I don't remember. Some so fucking How are you going to get done in by a pressure cooker? That's like somebody microwaving Boring. the Statue of Liberty into the ocean. That's fucking embarrassing. <laughs> oh, we put a fork in a microwave and put it in the Statue of Liberty, and now, <laughs> now it's a now it's gone. Pathetic. That's just melting. That's wild. Crazy. I love I love how horrible you guys are to fucking Philly. I think Philly's so fine. Have you lived there? <laughs> that's because I've never lived there. No, no, I've never lived there for sure. That's the problem. Yeah, there you go. Everywhere's never, fine until you there, live there. there. Everywhere's fine until you live there. People, San Francisco is great <laughs> until you live there, and then your car is always broken into every it is wild it is crazy how often people's cars are broken into in san francisco like sincerely really you, well, it makes you sense can, there are you people leave their doors open like open like a jar mm-hmm. just to prevent people from busting their windows it's outrageous it, it makes sense that makes that's such a making sense thing i people are like confused but i'm like well like how many fucking homeless people are there dude i mean that Duh. There's a lot of homeless people kind of everywhere, and, and it's still not. There's a lot of homeless people in it's, LA, and I still just still wouldn't expect my car you know to be broken crazy? into. It's it's worse there. It is actually worse there than it is here. Well, yeah, I know, but like it's, it's still kind of like, dude. We, it's not I went homeless people there. breaking into cars, though. I would assume it. A good portion of them are. No, it's just people stealing. It's not homeless people. I'm not saying also homeless people are fucking thieves, you know. 
You yeah, know, we, like uh, we listen. Our audience is all homeless. I am. <laughs> Derek, I'm a thief. <laughs> I'm Derek, the homeless thief. Yeah. I will steal your come out your dick, bro. Show. How do you think I got I all st- this equipment? I got this this seat, this this microphone. I, I will steal shit. your sperm out your nutsack. Don't <laughs> fuck with me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> How would you I mean, do that? that? How would you do it? Thing. Would you do it with like a Capri Sun straw? You'd like pop. I it? would do it with a knife and a re and a, oh and a broken God. straw. I do it with a knife ca- and a broken <laughs> straw, but I would get it. I was just gonna be anyway. curious and beat it out of them. Jesus Christ! Just make anyway. sure you just beat it out of them, and then you, then you siphon it. That I, one bloodborne yeah, death screen, <laughs> bitch. Where you where? <sighs> Bitch, where are you when I had this cock in King Kuma? I don't know. You are tuned into 98.7 WRIP with Negro in the Spig. Mariachi music with Foghorns. Uh, nice. I want some cock sludge. I love to swallow man splooge. I, l- I really love to make this dick cry. So tonight I'm sucking this, this guy's ball sack by Seaman M. Uh, the Snark Tank is my favorite Marxist podcast. Very cool. <laughs> yeah, very cool. Uh, fuck it. Carry on with the Britain slander. Shit sucks here. Listening to Sweeney makes me consider racism. Sweeney, thank you for being the voice of reason. Chris should kill himself. Baller of the first sin. Iron That's deficiency crazy. man. crazy. Someone just sent uh, us that. Spum. <laughs> I, mean, some, I mean, somebody said no mom, no dad, no sister earlier. So, like, I, I don't... I don't yeah, it's it, pretty cool. Th- that anything would surprise That's you true. at this point is crazy. That's spum, true. Spum befutters. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh... Sweeney is just start. I just started watching One Piece. When will my skin turn black? Also, come to Sweden. We Whoa. rediscovered Mjolnir. That would. That's a lot to Stop. handle. Like if that was Stop. in the news that like Mjolnir was found. Like there's a hammer. No one can pick it up. It's not even heavy. No one can pick it up. I'm that sure it's just a scare cake, the shit out like of me. the fucking aliens. I'm sure it's just a kick like the aliens. Like shut the fuck up. <laughs> what if it's not? What if it's like not though? Like that's the thing. Like things like that are funny until it's like that real. That story and went like, away so fast. It's it's why like people just all for, so we all stupid. <laughs> we all forgot about the Mexican aliens instantly. It was so we didn't forget silly. about them. We knew they were fake. We didn't forget I know, about them. Just, just make them look sad. like anything else, man. Make them look like anything else. Make them look like an offshoot of squid or something. Like pussy, the pussy, fucking pussy, grays, pussy. come on! You do make them look like squids with pussies on their fucking body. Ew! But also that sounds kind of cool. But ew! Yeah, because then crazy. all of a sudden now we're intrigued. We're gonna talk about yeah. it. We're gonna try to I'm break intrigued. into the facility and fuck them. No, yeah, I'm gonna try to fuck them. Sure. Yeah, that is kind of. Do you I'm remember? Th- fuck that, you, Mister Tree. I will person. say it is kind of wild <laughs> that the universal consensus to like the, the, the agreed upon joke that everybody had about Area Fifty One. Was that, yeah, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna break in there and rape them. That's <laughs> like that crazy. was like that was just the That's that was just crazy. Like if you really when think you about say that, it, it's so much crazier, dude. When you I, say right, that, like, it's the it, truth. It, that it's is the literally truth. if you no one sat down and said that, but that is what that is what the joke was. That like yeah, we're gonna go into the facility. Like imagine, <laughs> imagine if you were observing ants. Right. If you were observing ants, like you, you somehow got like a little drone, like an ant-sized drone, to go down into like an ant colony or whatever, and you went into a boardroom, and then you saw a bunch of people being like, "We're gonna fuck the, we're gonna fuck the people against their will when we find them." Mm. You'd be a little perturbed, I think. Maybe, maybe just a little. Maybe, maybe just, just a little. little. <laughs> anyway. Jolly old dipshit. Would, could, you like, nut hey. in the, <laughs> could you nut in the? Can you? Could you nut in the vacuum of space, or would it freeze in your urethra? Mm. It would freeze in your urethra. What would what would happen to come in space? I'm it sure would, there's a YouTube just, video about it. Would it. Freeze. Would, would it float? Fr- because like I keep <laughs> hearing conflicting information about what f- space does to people. Like I, I heard a long time ago that the, the conception that you would boil was wrong. The conception that you would freeze instantaneously was also wrong. So I, I don't. I'm not going to pretend like Wait, I'm what do you smart mean? enough. You, fr- or, or, you freeze. You freeze. I feel like the Chris. freezing one's the accurate one. There used to be freeze. one people say your head would explode. I know that's not real. There's, a, but apparently but, uh, you don't instantly freeze. I think you. Why like, would according you not? To like, I don't know, Time but like I, I'm just saying, like I've heard like actual like scientists talk about like how there's like really drastic misconceptions about what space. Is. You are not going to survive at all, and you won't live 
for ver- for like even a pro- probably a fraction of a second. But what happens to you? Our idea of what happens to you is very not what we think it is. But then I just couldn't remember what the fuck it was. Uh, and it's, so a, now it's, it's a place. It's a place that's fr- below freezing temperature to an extreme degree, and it's no air. It's no atmosphere. Right, right. So either you're literally like, it's your a- head blows up, your your organs fail, they explode, or you I think something freeze like your instantly. organs. But it, but it's something like you freeze so much. It, it you freeze to the point where you're basically boiling or something. I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I look fucking. I don't know. Look, I've never been in space. A, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Why don't we just put them? Why don't we just put somebody who? Look, I uh, look. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna say something. I understand that. I understand that this is unethical. Continue. But. We are, we are very curious people. Yes. We want to know what things do. Yes. I'm I've here. always kind of wanted to see somebody fall into a wood chipper. To be completely honest with you, that's crazy. Like just, just, okay. just for the sheer, <laughs> just for the, because I'm so curious about how quick, like what, like how quickly would, and space is one of those where, like, I just want to know what happens to a human, like a real human body in space. Can't we just find like a pedophile or something and just record it, just so we know? Like, I I, I don't like this theoretical shit that we're doing, you know, like where I, well, where we just have to like assume what happens because you know they've uh, done it to chimps already, you right? Know but we don't they've see done it. it. To, yeah, we don't because, see but it. they have the footage of it. You know they do. They just haven't do released they? it. Oh yeah, of course they do. They have footages. They have footages of of monkeys Look, of ex- the experiments. Ex- just like there's footage of experiments that they test on animals on planet Earth. For sure, when they've when they've blasted dogs and apes and stuff into into orbit, they definitely recorded it to see what happens. But then they would absolutely be crucified if it ever leaked out. So they probably after they conduct the experiments, they probably kill the people to make sure that it doesn't leak out. <laughs> That's <laughs> crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> but hey, for sure, know. like why wouldn't they? Why wouldn't they re- record their findings? I don't know. I, I just think it's interesting to ask the like, question. Do like, people what really that... die in space? Like, has anyone tried? I really thought that for a while. Like, how do we know people die in space? <laughs> <laughs> I really yeah. believed that for a little while. You know what? I, it's was a like, good because question. They, they saw them. <laughs> they saw it's them die. Question. And I'm like, how? <laughs> how'd they do that? I do love I do love the people who believe like the moon landing is fake. I love those people. Like, those are my favorite people, I think. Anyway, let's move on. I don't think it's fake. But like, if it was fake, I'd be like, all right, cool. That's where I am. I, I thought it I don't know I didn't have a dog in that fight for a long time I thought like ah, if it's fake like whatever I could believe that we would I could believe that we would want to do something like that but then like I don't know there's just too much about the foot like there's so much about the footage that would be harder to fake around that time like even just the way that the dust reacts to, to like how they're moving around like it just it would it makes no sense. It could. It, it definitely seems to be real. That's where I stand by. Like, oh, it seems it's to be real. A real they thing. The, the, the big thing. It's like, oh, why, why haven't we gone back? It's like because there's nothing there. It's a fucking moon. Like well, we, it's, we've yeah, seen. It's, it's we've one hundred percent a money issue. It's, it, it's like, just, oh, we're gonna spend six billion dollars to go to the fucking moon again so we can get more nothing. Like, yeah, it's just, that's there's nothing up there. That's why I think India it's went back waste. and did it because India's like, hey, we finally have some money, and then they. They're like, we're gonna go on the dark side of the moon or some, sh- yeah. the dark side of the moon or some shit like that. And I'm like, that's cool, but you know, you're just wasting a shitload of money to feed your population. You know, it's crazy. They, it's crazy. I just thought, I just thought of something so. Do that. I just thought of something so. Isn't mean. it wild? Yeah, it's wild because of like how poor India is on average, and they're like, yeah. nah. Let's I mean, go how to the long? Dark side how, of the moon. how long? <laughs> how long do you have to work at a call center before you've saved enough money to go to the moon? <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, hello, I'd be on demon time. I'd be like, Joseph, you'll do it I sometimes. You? <laughs> you know, you'd be like, just do it. Do it. Shut the fuck You're up. Like, What's your real name? It's not Paul Joseph <laughs> What's Smith, What's your you real piece name? Of shit. Tell <laughs> your me your real name. name. Don't disrespect me. Fuck. <laughs> What's your fucking real name, nigga? I That's hate when they do crazy. that shit, bro. Yeah. I mean, it just shows it is, you how it racist is Americans are. Because it's like, the fact that they have to do that at all, where it's like, nigga, I know you're outsourced. I know this. I'm fine it's with okay. your name being Rishi or whatever. Yeah, it's, a, yeah, I don't it's okay. Give a fuck. You know, listen, lower but your guard. Some people. 
<laughs> Some people. Just, nigga, who is, are you? Yeah, upset. They'll freak out. Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Your name, is, them. <laughs> your name is. Your name is Hunt. It is me, John Williamson. <laughs> and you're like, no. no Dude, it's, it's okay. It's okay, Nadim. Yeah, it's please okay. Tell me I need help. Name. Please tell me your real as name. Lo- Let me connect really with funny as long as I can understand works with a bunch anyone, of people. I'm good. As long as like I can understand. She works with a bunch yeah, of them, fuck. right? Like my girlfriend does, she does obviously does tech work, so she works with a bunch of people from India. Hello, my and name is And all over. Lily. And they all just give their real names. They're like, Oh yeah, my name is Rijesh. My name is like <laughs> my name is Lily. And it's just, it's Lily. How can name I help you? Hola, como estas? My name is Lily. Uh, I have I have a degree, but it doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> for her, it does. For uh, for us, it wouldn't. No, for her, it doesn't. She has the job already. It doesn't matter. Like if you know. Yeah. That, oh, oh yeah. So, yeah, yeah technically, right. Still. Yeah, I have a degree, but it doesn't really matter because I'm already working, and I don't. It was, it was a waste of time for me to spend all that money on nothing. But uh, <laughs> I'm I'm dating a fast. I'm dating a piece of shit. <laughs> Hey man, <laughs> life, love, live, laugh, love, bro. I'm not That's upset her about opener. it. That's her fucking <laughs> opener. Hola, ¿cómo estás, Lily? The, Mi esposo that, is a piece of shit. I love the impersonating. <laughs> My favorite thing is impersonating women is so fun because, like, we just we can't. So, like, yeah. we just default to like. Have you heard my impre- this is going to this is not going to be fun for anybody listening because it's it it, it relates to just somebody that me and Kingston know but do you do, have you ever heard my impression of Alex Kingston? Which Alex? Our Alex? Our our friend our girl Alex, our friend our friend Alex. Yeah, what is it? Let's hear it. Let's hear how this, rude this, it this is. This our impression of, of it's like Hey, it's me Alex. And that I did that in front of her sounds. dad. I did that in front of her dad and her dad's like that's so accurate, man. That's so <laughs> fucking accurate. <laughs> that's so- <laughs> that is not how she sounds at all. It's funny that you do that though, because I essentially, whenever I'm doing a, a an impression of a woman, it, it turns into Marge Simpson. I essentially yeah, that's yeah. what I do. Hey, hey what's, what's going you? on? Hey, it's me, JoJo. I always do that. She's like, yeah, that's how I sound. Hey, I'm like, yeah, <laughs> it's me, Lily. My. <laughs> I can't. We gotta move. This is gonna be with no. We can't let this that happen again. Not how, we that can't is let this not happen how Lily Kingston. sounds. That is, it is not it how is Alex exactly sounds. how Lily sounds. It is exactly yeah. how Lily. It is exactly. How, I've heard. Lily. I've heard Lily say all of these things verbatim at least seven times in the last week, and I haven't even seen her this week. Um, yeah. Ruining the upholstery of a Ford F one fifty with the boys. Uh, mm-hmm. Becoming homeless <laughs> to support the homies. Cyphergraph. Gay Peter. Be like, I'm gonna put some dick in your mouth. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Dumb. That's crazy. That is Emo invasive, bro. <laughs> Elmo found dead in New York City apartment, getting loud in the club, smoking meth in the McDonald's play space. Damn. That's, Damn. Boys and moving crazy, bro. Oh, greetings and salutations, and welcome back to Snark Tank, a gay racist podcast. This is episode 300. My name is Carl Moriarty, and I'm gay. Whoa. Nice. Nice ride in. Uh... <laughs> Andy, why you so gay? So Andy, why you so gay? Are you homo, Andy? Have you been dicked down? You've been dick. You, Andy, why you? Okay, I see. Andy, why you so gay? Yes, it's smooth. So gay criminal. Andy, why you so gay? Are you homo, Andy? You've been dicked gay down. Criminal. You've been fucked in. You're smooth booty hole. Hey, smooth booty hole. I, I do like come, come, I do like smooth come. booty hole as a as a as a replacement. <laughs> You've been uh, fucked in your Sweeney's booty superpower hole. is being confidently wrong. Back to tank of cum. Caucasian container in the crackle bell for gays. Donald Trump burping on Dom's clit. Fight me, Greg Miller, for what you have done to my boo. Do Christian girls squirt holy water? King Kong's ding dong wrote in. All I want to do is bust inside a guy or two. I'll fuck them and then I'll fuck you. Thank God we're gay. N- parentheses, no rain. Uh, she pipkin on my pippa. Possum is gay and homeless. F slur on the roof. <laughs> Be like if I was a gay man. Wait. Yeah, yeah, ba di ba di ba di ba di ba di ba di ba dum. F slur on the roof. <laughs> That's such an insane thing to hear. You dude. know what's crazy is that it. That works is such an insane to, thing to hear. It works better if you say F slur and not and not the actual slur. Because yeah, like and actually say the word. Yeah, yeah. It should it be. Fit, um, right. How about the N word with an L in there on the roof? If, I think that's better. <laughs> If I was a gay man, that is such a great. That's such a great. 
<laughs> there is nothing better than that. And N word with the L in it is such a good sounding word, dude. It is. It really is. It's terrible. It's like, damn, I can never really use this word, but it sounds so funny. Glegnigler? Yeah. Yeah, Chris. Yeah, Chris. Exactly. <laughs> that exactly. Inler on the roof. Hey, get down there, nigga. What you doing? Hey, what are you doing get up there, up. buddy? What you doing? <laughs> it's dangerous up there, dude. Get down. <laughs> get down there, black. You, Wouldn't it be wild you, if you? I, I love the idea. I really do love the idea of buying the video game black because you you saw it and you're like, yeah. I was like, oh yeah. Well, yeah. Of course, I got to get this. It's game. for me. Yeah, I am. <laughs> it's, it's for me. <laughs> I, I, well, I, yeah, I, I am. In, that is so crazy. I was well, in GameStop actually, and the and the and the clerk was like, "Oh, you're here to buy black, right?" And I, and I just directed kinda, you right to it, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then he, yeah. He took the money out of my pocket, and he then, grabbed and, you. You walked. You he walked past the GameStop. He was like, "Wait!" <laughs> Went out there, grabbed, <laughs> <and> brought you <laughs> in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, I, I, I remember, know what you're I doing remember, here. <laughs> I remember when I walked in. Uh, I remember when I walked into a GameStop, uh, looking as Puerto Rican as possible, and I was like, "Hey, I'm here to buy Grand Theft Auto." And he's like, "I actually think you're just here for theft." <laughs> it's like obviously, like don't be it's stupid. called Grand Theft Auto after you commit the crime. Don't be and stupid. <laughs> it's just how many copies here of for theft do you want, idiot? <laughs> how, how many copies? Of, <laughs> yeah, you're, you must be here for theft three or something. <laughs> uh, <laughs> It'd be wild if it was just called theft. Yeah. Uh, average clit energy. Uh, what starts with my Hellcat is pushed to start and ends with er. Uh, just the hard R. Star Coffee. Um, yo, I can work on Gangsta Quest. Yo, can I work on Gangsta Quest? Derek. Mm. <laughs> some guy. I remember some guy wrote it thought it was Edward Quest. Derek, <laughs> check out <laughs> check out Speed of Light. Uh, petition to turn Starlight's actor actor's face back to normal. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. That is, that's some that rough whole thing is really fucking surgery. tragic. Wait, what was it? Um, I, I wasn't. So Aaron Aaron Moriarty, I think, right? Is her name? I think. Uh, yeah. The actress, the actress who plays, um, oh my god, uh, Star Starlight in uh, the Boys. Got like buckle fat oh, removal holy and shit, yeah, and, uh, just okay. all sorts of stuff. And uh, how old is she? how old is she? She's yeah, she looks like we a, are, I'm pretty sure she looks like an alien now. She looks like a fucking alien. Like 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 it's she so has that fucking alien sad. Look. She's 29. She's younger than me, dude. And she I can't she believe just, she she's so she just pretty. The face it's like, what the she fuck was, happened? She, she was she was so such a, a fine looking young lady, dude. She's so so pretty. fortunate. She was such a she was like. Dude, she was like the, the exact thing that I would picture when I when I would think like the gr- like the like literally the girl n- next door, you know, that you would have like a crush on. It's like this is what a what a nice looking person, just genuinely, and then just that's why I she was know, hired I, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Like, and then na- it's just like now, now she just looks she straight up looks like a fucking alien, and it's so and I don't I don't say that to be like oh you know fuck this person. I, I it's not even like it just like I understand it's mean, but like. I just feel so sad when I see that because I'm just like, dude, people look, you look fine. Like, you look fine. I want, I I, I really do think that there's, and we talked a little bit about, about it on the extra ammo where, like, I feel like there's this, we, we really put women on a, on a pedestal in this weird way where, like, it's really fucking with them. It's it's really fucking with them in this in it like oh hey Kylie Jenner and and fucking Kim Kardashian and all these people like like make up all the time filtered all the time and then they're just like if you look normal it's not okay and it's like dude like you're fine like you are fine like truly her it's, she's an extreme example because what yeah. did she see that made dude. her feel that she wasn't attractive it's especially crazy. when. The amount, imagine the amount of thirst trap, well, not thirst trap, the amount of thirsty messages she would get from being on that show. Like what it, it that, that's, I get regular people uh, getting to it. I don't know, man, that shit is, that's probably the biggest example of like an unfortunate situation. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. A situation of that where it's like, you are so above average as far as like conventional attractiveness and you still were like nah I gotta fuck myself up Crazy. yeah I don't know I, I just I wish people, more people were just kind of comfortable with like who they 
I don't know. It's, it's, it sounds like a 100%. weird message to come from. It's it's a weird message to come from this podcast, which is like so mean and, and just <laughs> fucking <laughs> derelict and, and just fucking in the gutter. But like, I, I, it does make me sad to see people just like that unhappy with themselves that they're willing to completely fucking butcher themselves in this way. Like, <coughs> Twenty nine points. Just, like, I only care so much, you know. But like, like I don't know. Dude, I don't. I'm not really a fan of Drake. You know, I don't hate him or anything, but. That one line where he says, like, sweatpants, hair tied, chilling with no makeup on. That's when you're the prettiest. I hope you don't take it wrong. I've always identified with that a lot because that I yeah, in that scenario where the girl is just chilling, no makeup, in normal fucking clothes. Like, that's when I'm like, that's top tier right there. Yeah, chilling, yeah. no makeup, her rod's out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> her rod is out. Just fucking Excuse- just out there this fucking pride nice and plump what? i'm like damn dude 100 dude i can't wait till my girl straps me up and i can't wait till my girl mounts me bro i stopped so i stopped i stopped paying rent so i could be a real fan uh trans femme gremlin uh i appreciate exposing, you not paying rent make sure yeah, that money goes ex- to us though yeah yeah I appreciate in fact you not paying give us rent. that's so send us crazy. the money you would have spent on rent <laughs> like right now <laughs> like send it to us right now or I'll say for I'll murder you yeah Swede's coming for you for sure uh alright so uh transform grandma exposing uh, people with lactose intolerance to 90 million rods of ionizing radiation Yush not Vin Pen um god damn it come on bro uh we need homeless bro. gear oh we, we do need homeless need gear a- they can't like, buy it, but like, yeah, I guess. I mean, you know, they can save it for like six months and then get some. So we'll we'll, we'll operate it at a loss. We'll save it. We'll 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 <laughs> we'll we'll just spend all of our money making homeless merch to sell it for one dollar. <laughs> for one dollar, and then we'll go bankrupt, crazy. and then and then we'll, we'll and then the show will be over because we can't afford to do it. Um, I like it. Yeah, that you is so not The angelic DM, uh, big dudes, fuck the living shit out of me. <laughs> Jesus, they could care less as long as I'm on my knees. So take off your clot. I don't know. Clothes, I assume, is what that is, but it cuts off. Uh, You guys got to be really mindful about how long you make them because it just straight up cuts off. I don't know about you, but my vote goes to the presidential candidate, Hilarious Rodham Clitoris. Uh, Craig the Canadian, this episode of Shark Tank or Snark Tank is very normal, I swear. Kind of is. Uh, it's your boy Shawnee D. Daily Wire present oh, Matt too. Walsh's What is a Black? Ben and Jerry's Funky mm-hmm. Monkey. If they ever make a Smash Brothers Paul movie, Paul Joseph Watson should play Master Hand <laughs> and Crazy Master Hand. Hand. Racist, <laughs> racist Alanis Morissette be like, Uh-oh. and Uh-oh. what did you expect? <laughs> Their N words. Parentheses Damn. ironic melody. That's what you get when you trust a black person. Whoa. That's not the song. Oh, my God. That's, 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 that's Paramore. It's like imagine. N-words when they're stealing cakes. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I, I haven't thought about that. Ain't yeah, I don't know. Black, I don't know. Ain't he really fucking kind of black? Ain't he black? Ain't he black? Cause I, ain't I can he give, black? I'm so gay. Yay. I, can, I can do gay shit of Iran. I, like, I, I got... I gotta switch my I gotta switch my meter if I really want to get racist with the songs. Like if I really bro, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's too... like clockwork for me, bro. It's really bad. It's <laughs> real bad person. <laughs> it's really fucking some, it's some shit, dude. <laughs> You'd probably collab yeah. with that one dude that uh, the, the that hard R song, you know, Edward, 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 you Edward. You know what's Edward, crazy? Edward, I make Edward, songs Edward. like that and I laugh about it and I lay down and I'm like, no, you don't. What would I hate fucking, this. What would what would Madonna Summers think of me? And I tear up a little bit and I go to sleep. You don't tear up. He's <laughs> never. T- I tear never up a little bit. Life. Like one nice. tear wells up, and then I watch a guy fall off a building. And I'm like, well, I watch. This Kingston, is what I, I watched Kingston. Much I watched. I watched <laughs> Kingston fold his dog into five in five different directions, put it in an oven, turn it on, and not shed a tear because he was that <laughs> low on food. Like he was just that hungry. Crazy. <laughs> the idea. The idea of someone doing something like that. And just going about their day is so horrifying. <laughs> I know. Imagine having to see it. <laughs> You're uh, such a 3XO, bro. I swear to God. <laughs> 3XO inventing a new sect of Islam where you get 72 fanboys after blowing up uh, the bathroom. Uh, slurping, sm- stroking, <laughs> smoking, joking. Emoticons going like this. Homeless Drip MH, Lord of Homeless Drip. Dean Martin voice. Ain't ain't that a dick in my ass? <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking funny. So stupid. That's really funny. <laughs> 
That's ain't that a kick in the head, right? That's good. I like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Obi won't you blow me? Uh, Norwegian game dev, let me dev your, let me develop your game, Mister Blackman. You've got a lot of people wanting to make Gangsta Quest. Oh wow, wow. I mean, except he's Norwegian, hey so I don't know how I don't know how true to form he can really <laughs> capture Gangsta Quest. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if you found out Gangsta Quest was made in like fucking Finland or something. If like Remedy <laughs> made Gangsta Quest, I'd be I fucking mean, baffled. It, it would be oh man funny to see their take on gangsta Black American gangsta culture. I would love that. It hey man, let's go to the really IKEA. They got great but also furniture really over there. Funny. <laughs> <laughs> it would just oh, be like, man. good, you're finally awake, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's just they would right. only use the hard R and not understand when they the inward. They would oh, mix shit. up the hard R and the, and the A together what? all the time. Oh shit! They would My use it the wrong meal. way. Watermelon and sheep's head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, someone stole your cornbread. And it's just all. It's just all like it. it just, it's just it's all just fucking shit like that. You're lines, like, but just, you're like, ooh, ooh. That's probably what an AI would do. Like, hey, could you could you make uh, Skyrim mixed with San Andreas, and then it would just take those lines and hey, mash yo, them together. Look, is that dragon Parthen? Parthen nigga. Parthen that <laughs> Parthalax? I forget. Parthenax. Parthenax? Yeah. 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 Why does that sound wrong? Because it's been a long time. That's, why. <laughs> That's very true. It has been a long time. Can we finish this, guys? We got to finish. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we got to go. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right. Kremlin the Gremlin. Uh, if I hear one more k- k- Chumba Casino, I'll kill and I'll kill you. Deep Cavid, uh, Appleton Oak, fucking police coming hard as I thrust and pound. Abby, I don't want to be queer anymore by Rise Against. Donkey crying out Shrek, help me, as Kingston savagely beats him to death while dual wielding hammers. That's crazy. <laughs> the Eddie Murphy shoots Shrek. Help me, Shrek. Shrek, Shrek, please. He's killing me, Shrek, please. I like, I like the idea of it being two small hammers, like really tiny, like ball peen hammers. Uh, Wage Slave 583, a sad guy from Michigan, down bad for a helicopter dick emoticon, so I can see Chris going emoticons going like this to it. The Papini Brothers Emporium, all right. Snark, snark, snark tank, feast your eyes on that gay doctor's mix. Donk Donkerson, Monk Gyatsu. You gotta pay the trolls toll to get in the boys' hole. Gade 6, I can mathematically prove why liking femboys isn't gay, fellas. Give me a second, please. Listen, just be gay. <laughs> yeah. Or it's fine. The there's nothing, there's literally you... not a pro- There's literally no problem with being gay. <laughs> I want to hear your video essay on it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> give, Do give a me video thesis, essay. Please. You know what? If you... Well, I can't call you by name because your name is what you said. But if yeah, you, yeah. the person who wrote this, make a video essay and send it to us, we will review it on the show. <laughs> we'll have an extra ammo dedicated to it. How yeah, about yeah. that? Yeah, that'd be funny. That'd be good. Bilbo Faggins be like, I'm going on an adventure, but gay. <laughs> of course. Of course, Dildo Faggins is That is Faggins so is a, silly. That is Dildo so Faggins just... is classic. Yeah, that's a classic. Like, yeah, Bilbo that's Faggins one and Dildo Swaggins. Yeah. Dildo Swaggins is another one. Uh mm. Uh, here comes the cum, do 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 do. Okay. Here comes the boy. Uh, What's that? I forgot about that. I forgot about that. That's what that it is, is, pretty much. It was just that. Uh, no, it isn't. Is it? Oh, yeah, is it? Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. Uh, it's some TikTok meme from like 2021. Uh, mm-hmm. Master of baiting, I'll come on his face, Metallica. Uh, if I were gay. If I were a gay man with a femboy or two, an evil lesbian, Gumball's voice actor calling a dream the F slur, Sandman.gov, John Strickland, Nick Kurz, upcoming arch nemesis, Nick Noah Kurz. K. Nega. <laughs> nice. Uh, uh, the college basket football arc. Uh, Merck's 1889, synagogue of Keith David. Check out our journals. The first church of Keith David. Journals. Featuring Paul Joseph Watson's massive fist waffle punching his shit down the sink drain. The second church of Keith David fe- featuring being better than the first church of Keith David. pre Roz, Blake896, crypto scammer and YouTube sensation Logan Paul winning the United States Championship at WOE Crown Jewel. He said, son, have you sucked the balls? Would you s- what, what would you say if I said that you're, you cock? Just grab on this dick. You'll even get laid. I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to do Hero hero of War by Rise Against. If I said that you cock, doesn't make sense. Fix that. It's uh-huh. almost fine. 
You'll even get laid is perfect because you'll even get paid is the line. Uh, mm. Sween would rather die than deal with furries, yet would gladly fuck a girl who can turn into a cat. Yeah, Sweeney's mentally ill. We've established mm. this. I literally, I mm. my furry arc is gone. Like, like, like I'm fine cat, with furries. I already got past it. that. You're fine. Yeah, okay. Uh, little oh. dish rag. Uh, little dish rag. This He's happens off screen, I guess, for him. Uh, Britney Spears toxic. Um, with the taste of your dick, I want to ride. Your cock tick, I'm sipping inward. I remember this one. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, Alaskan oil field trash, Texas tater salad, suck me cocktra. Uh, Sue Hulk, tickle my ass hairs, Nikki Ziggy, uh, good friend of the show. Marcus currently working on... What? Cur- Marcus currently working on turning off the hammer of dawn outside Sweeney's room. <laughs> A right. roughly human-shaped pile of red flags. Uh, the p- penis country inhabitant... Wicket 909, Captain Crunch's Oops All Come, uh, Jackson DuPont, <laughs> Badly Brave, Hugger Derek Duck Hunt, The Jiu-Jitsu Master Slowly But Inevitably Mounting You, uh, Aetherian, Progerian Hunter, Frying Bacon With My Shirt Off, Melfus One, The Angriest Crowd, uh, Enjoying the View on the Dealey Plaza from the Sixth Floor, and as always, rounding out our list, The King of Haphazard. Bye. King Combo. Big Fat Come. A lot of cum. Right. Big, big fat cum. Hey, that that's a lot of cum.